kid does not back off, guys, than his ticker. And Haas picks up his third. He'll have to leave the game. Mm. Mm. That pressure. That pressure. That pressure. Pressure. I'll get out of that. Auntie Helen, I'm over there. Auntie uh, Joanne, stay. Move out here. So what is it like a poop? I still don't trip, I will never lose. I do me, you I never do. Uh, you look invisible, bet I'm invisible. Fly individual. Uh, individuality is the principle. Only a necessary point intended. Who reaching the pinnacle, teaching the principle, teachers and principles. Uh, I say, what do we listen to? What do we listen? I say, what did the system do? What did the prison do? We think it's too funny, minimalistical life that we live in, be incomprehensible. This shit is critical. All right, man, episode two, Local Legend, mm. 2024, man, we starting the year off right. It's a great year. Do some positive things. We have none other than Corey Sanders. I don't want to introduce him too much because I want to let him tell his own story. But this guy right here, man, I must, you know, say I appreciate you coming on. Uh, when I came home from school, I think it was like a week after I got cut. Um, or whatever, I moved with one of my guys, and uh, my roommate at the time was coaching Corey, uh, Corey a lot younger than me, and um, I started following him. Coach had a, I call him Coach as my homeboy, but Coach had a, sure. <laughs> a lot to say about the man, you know, I'm an athlete, I'm coming home uh, from playing, so I wanted to see it for myself. And uh, he was telling me stuff like, oh, man, I got middle schooler doing that type of stuff. I'm like, man, I don't believe it. <laughs> so I went and checked it out for myself, man. And at that point, I started following him. And it's right before he went to ninth grade and followed him all ninth grade, followed him throughout high school, you know, up until today, you know, this is my guy. You know, one of my one of the favorite kids. I say kids, he's younger than me, but he's a grown man, one of my favorite athletes. I uh, appreciate him again for coming on, man. But uh before we get going, see. That's good. They appreciate we, you for having me. Man. We gotta we gotta do the drink of the day. Uh, I think we did uh Remy on the last one, but uh this is one of my favorite mixed drinks. Uh, Martel. Well, I do the regular one with the Grand Marier. But this right here is what we're gonna take a shot of. This is Martel as well, but it's the Martel Swift. You don't need no Grand Marier. Okay. It almost feel like it got the Grand Marier in it. Okay. So we gonna. Uh, you a real kind of slow. Look at too. So <laughs> we gonna see how you like it. Okay, that, that's man. my preference, but we gonna see what C say about it. Man. This shot cut five right here. Oh yeah, I appreciate it. I picked it up. I'm like, yeah. If you want a double, now I can turn it over. It's up to you. This what is you single. Taking? I'm on a single. Are we taking? Single? I'm on. I got a long night. I ain't gonna even do it to myself. I'm on your time. I got a DD though, so whatever. Yeah. Man, cheers, man. Yeah, Salute to C, man. Hey, we Blessings here. to him and his family. Whew. That's, that's that thing. That's that thing, man. That Martell. Swift. Yeah, that Swift don't need nothing but some ice, bro. You good. But today, I'm going to tell y'all one of my favorite drinks. Get you a regular Martell, yes. People, I know y'all go to Hennessy. Same price range as Hennessy. Get you the regular Grand Marier. You don't got to get the Lua one. Get the regular one. <laughs> the Lua one? Yeah. You get the regular one with that right there. It's going to cost you about 70 bucks, 80 bucks max. You good. Okay. That's, a, that's a whole ball a weekend. <laughs> if you're on a budget, you good. Going to do it. Going to do it, man. But let's get into the man of the hour, man, Mr. C. Corey Sander himself. Uh, let's discuss a few things, man. Your upbringing, yeah. uh, your parents, your siblings, mm -hmm. your hometown, things like that. Yeah, so well, everybody know from Lakeland, Florida. You know, uh, born and raised, proud to be from here. Really, I was born in Brandon. Okay, okay. I was born in Brandon Hospital, so from Brandon, whatever how you want to call it. I was raised in Lakeland. Um, you know what I'm saying? This is where I'm proud to be from. You know, everybody know that. Got it tatted on me. Yeah. Um, parents, my people really from Bartow. Okay. All my people from Bartow. So. Both sides. Um, nah, my my daddy's side. Okay, my daddy's okay. side from Bartow. The Sanders. All them over there. Gotcha. Um, so shout out to my daddy's side. You yeah. know, probably see this. Um, my grandma, them, my mama's side, they from Maryland. Oh. So my grandma moved down here with my mama. Uh, I, don't, I don't remember like how old she was. Yeah, yeah. I know she was younger. Oh, that's where that blood come from. Yeah. That's where the big city blood come from. Yeah, yeah. Um, 
So I'm mixed, my grandma them white, you know what I'm saying? My, my mama's side mixed, she mixed, my mama, uh, mama white, her dad was, was black, whatever. Okay. So, uh, yeah, they came down, um, you know, turned up down here. Uh, my grandma started working at like uh, like IHOPs and stuff like that. So okay. She was a bartender. So one thing with my grandma, anytime we go to like an IHOP or like a place of service, she real like picky like about the server, like cause she used to serve. So yeah. she was like back in the day, like yeah, yeah. You know, they they ain't do this or they ain't do that. You know. So sometimes I be like, man, all right, I already know what time it is yeah. when we going here. If they ain't acting right, I can already know what's coming. So, but you know, my grandma, she you know raised from back in the day. She got all the morals from back in the day. So all this new school stuff, she be having to get used to and get yeah. comfortable with. Um, got a little sister on my mama's side. Uh, she just turned 21. Just got a driver's license the other day. She passed the test, so shout out to my sister, man, for doing that. She failed the first one, got the second one. Got gotcha. you. I called her before on some, like, man, tighten up. You got to yeah. get it right. So she did that. Proud of so her. So it's just y'all two on that side? On my mama's side, it's just me and her. So um, that's like, a, that's a big role as a big brother. Yeah, she was born in Tennessee. Okay, okay. So she ain't even from here. She was born in Tennessee that we moved down here. Um, but she doing well, she doing her thing. I got I got siblings on my daddy's side, but I only met my, my sister, like my big sister once. Yeah, yeah. And I met like a little sister when I was a kid. Got but I, I think I got like a brother or some more. I just never like met him. Well, you need to meet him. Can't be having my brother you got somewhere. Kids, yeah, like, you, you can't know be what having your kids and your yeah. siblings' kids. Yeah. We're going to make that happen, yeah, man. Yeah, I know some yeah. Sanders. I'm, I'm close with some Sanders. I, actually, my niece uh, is a Sanders. Yeah. Hand, hand daughter is a Sanders. It like. got to be It got to be some connection somewhere down the line. No, y'all, that, like, for sure, that's your family because I know your pops and her sister, they first cousins. Yeah, see what I'm saying? I mean, her mama, her mama. Her mom and your dad is first cousins. Yeah. I know that for 100%. I'm just not, I just not be meeting more of my family, bro. Yeah, as yeah, I, go yeah. I know the Sanders. They big and boy, too, yeah. so I know the Sanders. Yeah, yeah, for sure, yeah, for sure. For sure, for sure so. you know, uh, when you start playing sports, and what was your first sport? Started playing sports. I want to say I started playing sports around, like, uh, second, third grade. Okay. I started playing at the YMCA first. I was at the YMCA. My girl, you know, my girl, yeah, my yeah. wife. So we was at the YMCA. For sure. I ain't hear about Sim. I ain't hear about the none BG. I ain't hear about none of that, bro. Y'all until, on the south side. Come on. So I ain't hear about none of that yeah. until I got around. Um, until I got around doing them. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah. I started playing with the five. But I started playing off like around second, third grade. I was at the YMCA. Okay. When I started playing there, they kind of like moved me up though, cause I was playing too good. I was like, you know, what I'm saying better than other kids. So I started playing up. Yeah. Um. With like fourth and fifth graders, then. Okay. So, so you started hooping first. That's yeah, your first. I started sport. hooping first. I started playing football. I played for the Lakeland Storm my first year. Gotcha. Trash. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Trash. Until I had the, like long chin straps. Like <laughs> yeah. I ain't know how to swag. You didn't like, even know to cut that off. Yeah, yeah, I ain't know none of that, bro. Like, and, and my people didn't either. Like, they yeah, ain't yeah, never yeah. know what I'm saying. Like, so I I'm grew a, up in the football house. I started sports late. Yeah. Uh, but I knew all the stuff because yeah. I was older and I grew up in a football house. Mm-hmm. So you already seen it. Oh yeah. I first day you would have thought I was the best. Yeah. I, I was clean. Yeah, see me with me. I ain't really Nothing like, new now. I got right. all heavy down, fresh. but I'm fresh. Fresh though. It don't matter. <laughs> yeah, I'm fresh. Yeah, I, so I started playing football. I was trash at first. Then I got nice, like my That's what I was gonna ask you. The next question was, would you say you was a little lead stud? Yeah. <laughs> I was man, I was just having this conversation the other day because uh, in the group chat, it's like me, Baylor, Eric, like all the boys yeah. that play football. And we were just talking about who was like one of the, you know, the best player to play. Yeah, but yeah. I felt like, man, for me, like I was just, I was gas in yeah, football. Yeah, yeah. It, like, how long it took you? I know you say first year, it was tough. It man. only took me a year. Gotcha. Really? No, no, I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. Cause I had, no, nah, it took me a year. I had number 22 with the Storms. Oh, that boy started out with that Emmy like me. Yeah, yeah, they gave yeah, me that first that. year, but I was killing on, them. I, I was older, I was older, I was older. I yeah. started in middle school, so. I was on Pee Wee. I played tight end my first. I scored one touchdown. I remember that to, to this Ooh, day. That boy like me. Yeah. I was at the tight end. They had to move in the running back by the end, though. See, by the end, I, I was just still rocking out regular, like, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Net, the next year, I think what happened... That summer, I'm starting playing, like, pick them up, bust them up on the sideline with the boys. You know what I'm saying? I start knowing how to play now. 
So the second year I come, now nah, I want to play quarterback. I want to play skill positions. Now nah, I want to do it all. Yeah, so I piped up then, and then from that, like I just got real good. Like That's football, you know. This man tell me all the time, y'all. He tell me all the time, like he wish I would have stuck with football. Oh, right, not like when I was going through college, like man, go out there. I hit you up, like, yeah. I like telling him because at the time, I, I think I was home. This was my house. Not before I built this house, I was next in the other neighborhood. Yeah. And I remember seeing um, like one of the dudes I was went to school with, Fendi. It was like a few years after we out of school. I'm out of school. Yeah. And I see Fendi on the bun. I'm like, bro, Fendi was at Zona hooping when I was there. Right. How did it? With my team drafted, and that's what it was. I was watching the draft, and the Rams drafted Fendi Underbond. So yeah. I'm like, he was hooping. The name just kept ringing to right. me. So, you know, he, he a late round pick, six or seven. So yeah. they ain't finna go into a story like the top right. rounds. But I'm, I watched the draft. I watched it all day. Yeah. I'm watching all of it. Yeah. So I'm like, man, his name. So I went and looked it up. Bro had to left Arizona out there four years there. Yeah. Went to Houston. And played football there. Played yeah. football because it's a different eligibility. Yeah. So your clock, like, it's different. I don't know I all know the that. rules. I remember hitting you up like, hey, bro. You might want to go in. That's crazy. Check it out. You remember no, I hit you up? You don't yeah, remember that on I Twitter? Remember that what I'm telling you. I remember when you said that. Oh, that's how. That's what made me think about. I was watching. I'm like, man, Fendi, like, was straight on the court. I guess you know basketball. He went like to me. He he didn't have the NBA bill. But yeah. He was straight. You know, he was nice at Arizona. Yes. It went to Arizona, so he was at least decent. Yes. But on the field, you know what I'm saying? He probably seen something. Like, okay, six, because he was like that tweener. His height went all the way where it right. should be for his position in yeah. basketball. They like, we're going to put him at tight end in the end. Yeah. My boy's blocking kicks and, and everything. Got drafted. Now. Yeah, oh, to my team. That's what I, I, I'm like, oh, Lord, man, who is this dude in? That's when it, crazy. It was, my, it was my boy from school. I didn't know I had to stop talking to him when I left, but yeah, that's why I told you about that. Yeah. yeah. Man, so uh, I know you say you was gas, but if you could name your top five Polk County Little League athletes, who would you say? Uh, not including myself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um. <laughs> I got to go with Bait. Bait. I seen Dwayne Bait go, Bacon. I seen Bait go crazy. Uh, I got to go with Dollar Trevor Campbell. If y'all, he was corner of the year, defensive back of the year. Gotcha. This Lily. Year. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh, no, that was high school. No, no, not high school. Now, Lily. I, Lily. I, I, I just added that in right there. But in Lily, the he, little, one on the field, bringing that thing, you know okay. what I'm saying? Every time I play slot, corner, you gotcha. know what I'm saying? Whatever you want to play. Um, who else I got to say? I got to say, I gave the whole Polk for that reason, because Polk is, you know, a big yeah. county and got some, got some studs from Polk. Yeah, Polk is. Um, I got to say, Beaumont. Beaumont was tough. Darian right? Beaumont. Yeah, Beaumont I, I, was crazy. I got to see him at the end of, like, y'all, eighth, like, he was in, like, eighth grade. Yeah, Beaumont. I hated playing against Beaumont. He was running back, running yeah, crazy. Yeah. Um, he was in hard nose. Yeah. I'm trying to remember who all, oh, George. What's George? Tucker. Okay, I ain't get to see George Tucker. You ain't get to see George. Rain the little cousin? Uh-uh. Man. It was tough. For the Predators? I ain't get to see him. <laughs> George was crazy. George was just like Rainy. Yeah, Had I ain't number get to one. See him. For the Predators. Oh, man. Bro. I him. George. And uh, my last one. <sighs> man. There's so many guys. <sighs> I, I would have to say. I have to say JJ. J.J. Robinson. Robinson. Yeah, yeah, that's tough. I mean, J.J. was... James, like, and he was on my team. Yeah. And so it just, not like, he just was so good, though, yeah, bro. Yeah, like, man, the boys. I remember it was a big deal about him going to high school. Yeah. Like, everybody wanted J.J. Yeah, okay, so... Okay, that's a good one. But last thing on, you know, childhood, well, I guess high school, childhood, but what was your dream job? You know, they come around elementary. What you want to be? Fight, fight, a lawyer. What, yeah. When you was a jit, what, what, what did, what you wanted to be? Uh... I really can't. I honestly can't remember wanting to be anything other than yeah. Yeah, like, I tell people that all the time. Like, hooping, like yeah, I only knew sports. Yeah, anything. Yeah. I ain't really never. I ain't want to be no police. Like yeah. not just because. Like no, I just. I, I, did, I didn't want to. Like yeah. I ain't want to do nothing other than like play sports or something. Like I guess you know as a kid like for us since we were so deep in the sports like. And everything else, being a policeman was cool, but yeah. it wasn't like I want to grow up and be that. Yeah, I wanna, like, yeah. yeah, like I want to. We, we think it's sports. Yeah, that. like even me, I started sports middle school, which was considered late. Yeah, but I still just I already knew because I love sports. Right, you know what I'm saying? Like before I started playing 
organized. I wanted to play so bad. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I, I definitely, I feel you on that. Yeah. Um, let's talk high school, teenage years. What sports you played in high school? What, uh, what did you play at? Um, played basketball. In high, I played basketball in high school. I ran track in high school. Um, so I started at McKeel. I y'all, I went to seven different high schools, bro. Seven. I went to seven. I broke the record. I think I had how many? I had to so break McKeel, the record. That's Lakeland, Florida. Yeah, I went to McKeel first. Okay. Let me see if I can get it right. Cause I always, it's always like either be down one or uh, yeah, yeah. Give me one. You, we I make got a you. Shot. I'm gonna make you a drink. Uh, drink. Oh, you can get another shot. Is up to you. So I went to McKeel first. All right, so I get I get kicked out of me. Well, I ain't really get kicked out of me kill. I got kicked out, but I kind of like did like the, the the thing with the appeal process and got back in. Yeah. So, boom, I go from McKeel to Jenkins. Uh huh. You know, I was there for that little summer. Yep. I went to Jenkins. Yeah, he went to Jenkins. So you know that's yeah yeah yeah. I definitely. went to Javon, went to, I went to Jenkins. Yeah, I went to the Jink. After Jenkins, I go to IMG. I go to IMG for like two months. IMG, that's Florida. Jenkins, Lakeland, Florida. Yup. After that, I go to... Uh... After IMG, I go to Kathleen. Okay. I go to the lean, play there. Mm-hmm. Do my thing at the lean. After the lean, now I'm going into my senior year. Yeah. So now I go to Little Whiskey, Georgia for... I don't even know what the school called, bro. But it was some crazy, like, man... Not I that long. Up, I remember that. I ended up having this, the, the, the gym was where we slept at. We slept on top of the gym in bunk beds, bro. Yeah. It was like 13 of us. Ended up getting kicked out of there, driving to Atlanta in like pickup trucks, bro, like with everybody stuff in the back, going to a house where it's no furniture. It's like 13 of us sleeping in the house, us to the downstairs. I'm sleeping in the closet. Wow. I'm sleeping in the closet because the closet got like a ramp thing and I never seen it before. It wasn't even posted. Like, What's up by the bamboos y'all or something? Yeah, man. It's like, bro, I don't, man, we just left from there. Yeah. The coach, they said the coach was stealing from, like, it was like a church. Yeah, the coach was stealing you. from the church. Left there, went to Atlanta. My coach that was recruiting me at Rutgers got me into this school. When he come out there, I tell him, like, man, you got to come. Yeah. He come see this, he get me out of there. I go from there to uh, West Oaks. Got you. That's an O. Yeah, that's an O. And that's where I graduated at. West Oaks, nah. Mm-hmm. I, I seen McKill, I seen West Oak, I seen IMG was short. I seen it all. You know, that's mm-hmm. when I started really outcoming everything. Yeah. Uh, what would you say you had your best basketball time at? Career wise, <laughs> high school career. Bro, that's so hard. Yeah, yeah. That's hard because. At McKill, like I won, I won player of the year. I that won was like freshman. 20 something with one. Yeah. I only lost to like one of Haven, which yeah. was a great team, like three, four division one athletes right. on that team. So that year, like, bro, that's so I never sat down and thought where I played my best stretch of high school basketball at. Cause I killed that McKill. I went to the lean. I, I killed there. And yeah. I killed I had like, Especially at the time, because yeah. the lean was down. Like yeah. when you came, it's kinda like, okay, we got the Pointed lean coming up, back. You know what I'm saying? Like got the lean basketball for Lakeland, Florida. Like y'all yeah. know Lakeland, y'all know Dreadnoughts. It's big. That, they made Lakeland popular, famous. But for basketball, that's the state champ. I was so excited to go to the lean. So excited, bro. Like whole city was. Yeah. I mean, I ain't a, I ain't a red devil, right. but you know, just being for Lakeland, yeah. I know what Kathleen basketball, it kind of like, I was happy. Yeah. Now, when you went to Jenkins, I was like, no, no. don't. I, I knew Jenkins went for you. You yeah. know what I'm saying? At a young age, I was able to. I told you what he did. It, you didn't even have to tell me. <laughs> it, it's just not, it's not for a kid like Corey Sanders. Yeah. I, I started getting to know you. I started taking y'all boys home. Yeah. Hooping with y'all yeah. every day. I'm young at the time. Now, I'm not that young. You knew me I ain't going real. to parties with them or nothing yeah. like that. But I hoot with them. I was trying to keep my, my fit up, you know. So I knew them guys. I knew Jenkins went for yeah. them. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So that, I knew. I was like, but we went to lean. I was like, yeah, the lean finna be okay. Is that? Yeah, yeah, you know, I'm trying to, I'm trying to bet. Look, <laughs> at look, look, looking at it, it had it had to be it had to be West Oaks because I won the state championship. And y'all, I mean, and I was so Yeah, y'all, y'all, you did your thing in West Oaks. Yeah. I remember y'all had the one cat. Uh, he always reminded me of Penson from Carolina. When, when Carolina had Penson. Deriante. He had that bill and yeah. that game like yeah. Penson. He was tough. Deriante. What number you, 11? Yeah. I got a good memory now to be an old head. You, 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 you know that. You know I that. I remember, bro. He was tough. Deriante. You know your sports, though. You know your sports, I, I, I like that kid. I, I remember telling people he was tough. Deriante, nice, man. Shout out to Deriante. Yeah, he was good. So you say that's your best. I'm going to give you what I think. You know what I'm saying? Follow and see. 
I say West Oaks, honestly. But what I seen y'all do at McKill and was different. I'm gonna tell you why. When I came through and people before me, McKill was like homecoming. Mm -hmm. If you played McKill, McKill probably played one public school a yeah. year at yeah. the time. Times change now, they play everybody. Right. But I feel like y'all started that and made it respectable. Like, yeah. I'm like, I'm going to every game. You, right. you know I'm right. there. Right. They being Jenkins, they being Lake, they being Cap, they didn't, yeah. they being everybody. It didn't matter. And like I said at the time, when Haven went to state this year, they had a Florida commit Walker. Yeah. Well, he yeah. went to Florida. They had Miss Spad and went to UCF for basketball. So any high school team in the country, hear me out now. And that's relevant to this day. 2024, any high school team that has two Division I Hoopers, mm -hmm. that's a good team. Fact. I guarantee, I don't care what state it is, it can be New York, yeah. they're going to state. Yeah. They're going to state, yeah. and you can mark that. Bro, y'all boys really right there with them. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm watching this. That's y'all only loss, you feel me? Yeah. So I knew, like, then, like, okay, they different. Like, these boys, y'all That whole McKill thing, bro, like, that happened, like, kind of, it happened naturally. Like, because we went to McKill yeah. in fifth. So y'all there. And then, like, if, if you don't know, at McKill, you can play high school basketball even if you was a middle schooler. So yeah. we got the ups. In eighth grade, we started on varsity. Bate played varsity seventh grade. They moved him up. Yeah. I heard My, Bate dropped, like, 38 in seventh, eighth his grade. First, his first seventh grade game, he, he killed, bro. Like, his he first game, they moved him life. up. I would hear you. I was J still yeah. West. JV ended. They moved Bake up automatically. Boom. Bate started, killed. Like, you know what yeah. I'm saying? So then, it kind of, like, it, it was, like, Around that time, more than the game that came out, and you know, Brian went to that small school. Yeah, so, yeah. like, for us, that was kind of like, oh, we were like, man, we just gonna keep, we gonna stay here. Like, we yeah. already started, like, this our school, they yeah. love us here. Yeah. Like, first of all, McKill's a great school. I was on the way here, I had my uh, McKill sweat on. So, damn, Academically, man, I'm mad. Academically, you know, that's yeah. like, top dog for, yeah. for us and folks. So. Right, right. And then we just was able to, you know, form our connection with the coaches and stuff. We got players over, we got do over, you know what yeah. I'm saying? We had other players that was there that was good. So, I was going to ask you that, like, I know you mentioned y'all won state at uh, in Orlando. Mm -hmm. Any high school records at any of your schools that you know of? I mean, I, I see your career, I know it was a great career. If not, do but, I have a like? Do I got records? Yeah, cause you you was you went to a few yeah. schools, so it kind of yeah. Like even I don't with, think I got no records nowhere. Yeah, I just, don't. I nah. Like I scored a thousand at McKill. Yeah, but uh, like records that was quick. Yeah, cause you left so quick. Uh, yeah, yeah. I, I still like records. even that a thousand is tough. Right, like for it got some cats who want to score a thousand in high school. That. I'm some cat. See what I'm saying? So, hey, don't let, see, he taught that you that man on that field. That, yeah, that like, but still, stuff. like a thousand is tough. Like yeah, you know what I'm saying? That's yeah. that's you did that quick. You mm -hmm. did that one year really almost. Um, how was it playing with Dwayne Bacon? You know, Dwayne ended up being, you know, McDonald's All American, Florida yeah. State drafted. He, you know, a pro. How was it playing high school youth ball with somebody like that? It was amazing, bro. Like. To, to grow up with somebody and then like blow up with them at the same time, like it feel like it's all natural. It was all natural. It was yeah. all like, you know, it just happened. Like we from, you know, the same city, like we mm -hmm. friends. So like now we we got this stage that we can perform on. Then then you two start getting involved. So now like kids from Lakeland, Florida, yeah. we got this big stage. Now we just taking advantage of it. And that's what we did. Like and with Bake, it was just different. Like, I got to, I always tell Bake, he a role model to me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, y'all homeboys. Yeah. But he my role model, cause yeah. like, Bake always, like, Bake older than me. Yeah. So, yeah. Bake always was like one step, but he, he was always one step yeah, ahead. Yeah, yeah. He just was always one step ahead. So, the stuff that, like, I would do, Bate really wasn't doing, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Like, Bake always seemed a little mature. Yeah. yeah. But he yeah. was, cause yeah. you know, he was. And that, you know, so like, for us, well, for me, it was like, I would see that. And like I ain't really take I ain't really take like initiative and like or like realize like because you're a kid you yeah at first until like later on now I'm like okay like he was just always like he was ready he was you know always I had a million arguments about Bay I, I mean especially living at the time like I said with, with Coach Kenny and coming home bro just seeing y'all every week y'all boy begging me bro you take me home you come get us but in the gym I'm like. I'm just thinking about myself. I just left Power Five. Just you know what I'm saying. Got cut from the pros. Like, yeah, bro. I wasn't doing this. I wasn't asking nobody to take me no to no gym to do no sports stuff. It was kind of just like, bro, these dudes different. Yeah. And I remember arguing like, you know, you it's Polk County, bro. Like you got 
Trace McGrady, you got Amari Stoudemire, BB, Aggies, you got studs from mm-hmm. here. And I remember telling them, like, I remember coming home one day telling Kenny and Charles, that was my roommate, I say, hey, bait the best ever. Yeah. Like, bro, chill, this man in ninth grade. I'm, like, I'm telling y'all, bro, like, <laughs> these just are different, bro. Yeah. I don't see nothing but greatness from them, bro. Sure. Like, I'm, I'm here, I'm watching, I'm in every game. I'm literally, when I get off work, I'm, I'm, I'm taking off my work clothes. I'm, I'm switching to sports gear, bro. I'm wherever y'all going, wherever they, my kids playing at. And I'm just watching it, bro. I'm, I'm there every Sunday. I'm hooping with y'all. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So it's like, bro, I see that these boys getting picked by grown men. When we was kids, people, the grown people acting like we couldn't play. No, nah, y'all over there, Jits. Yeah. So I'm like, bro, that's what they I knew. first pick. That's, like, that's, that's what, what I knew. <laughs> but that's when you know yeah. you, you getting good. Cause I came up at Kellerette for mm-hmm. real, you know what I'm saying? Like my uncle, my uncle That's Carl, outside. Yeah, he I, he was we taking was that it. To, yeah, so I'm on I'm on I'm on the, I'm on the left side though, like yeah. always on the left side playing with the young, you know what I'm saying? Watching the older yeah, kids. That's, that's how it's been. But when you start getting good, now nah, like over here. yeah, like nah, they they calling you like. Yeah, come over here, leave After that, that alone. I ain't going to the left side. You know, we done, I mean, we we start naming that the G League. Once yeah. they made the G League, we sad. made that the, yeah, G that's the G League. That's the G Man, League. Come G League. Come over here. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You got one or two people wanted to go to G League. Because like, they nah, know they can bro. play over there. They yeah, come over they here, bro. Yeah. Yeah. Um, one thing I did want to ask you, but I know you touched on it, man. Kind of like with the YouTube thing, recruiting uh, process. How was that for you? Uh, you know, I think you touched the top 100 at mm-hmm. some point. I don't know how it ended. Um, touch on that. How was that process recruiting and being top 100 uh, as an undersized guard, yeah. quote unquote? Top 100, like that was, like, bro, my everything. We okay. Well, I'm gonna start with the YouTube because I feel like the YouTube played a part in me gotcha. getting ranked. The YouTube, like, it happened. It just happened so fast, yeah. bro. It happened overnight. I we swear to God. have YouTube. That's what's crazy. Man, I swear it happened overnight, bro. One night, me and White Mike is 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 in the room watching other highlights, right? Yeah. And it's like, dang, bro. Like, if I just get, if I can have somebody come record me, bro. I'm like, sorry. yeah. Well, like, we doing the same thing. So, we I went to an exposure camp one time. Me and Bay, I done caught me my first log. Like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? That's the first one that, that get posted. I'm mm-hmm. in eighth grade. So they like, eighth grade, Corey. Like, Corey Sanders, eighth grade, boom. First dunk. Small then, guard doing yeah, this. Yeah, yeah. So then I still, then like, I had, you know, our games from the kill. I yeah. had them getting recorded and I'm going crazy. You know, I'm dunking and stuff. I'm waiting on you. Okay, okay. Yeah, my first, my, I'm getting McKeel film. You know what I'm saying? I got dunks on there and stuff, but Ryan come around. For real, for real, and start recording us with home team. Oh yeah, so I said that's home yeah. team who, right? Yeah, he started recording us with home team. I remember my first, my first home team mix they had dropped. Like I, rec- he recorded me that weekend. I'm like, bro, like when he released this, like, all right, it's no, go it's crazy. Go crazy. And that's exactly what it, it happened overnight, bro. Yeah, like, on YouTube, you see what I showed it before. I'm on VCR tape. Yeah, I, like, I can't even watch it to the day if I wanted to. Ain't no VCRs no crazy, way. Crazy, bro. And that's the evolution. But okay, so that I feel like that. So with that, now I know. Okay. Whatever I do, these people watching. Yeah. So now I'm just turning it up a notch. Bro, I would literally watch, like, <laughs> bro, I would watch somebody do something on YouTube and go do it in the game. I'll watch Aaron Gordon. I was watch- he'll throw he threw it off the backboard between the legs, reversed it. I said, bro, I can do that. Might yeah. like do it in the game. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Now I'm, I'm that's what I'm doing. I yeah. know it. I'm finna blow. But that's business. People don't yeah. realize like that biz that's a business model. People in business, like billionaires, they do that. They yeah. say, oh. This little small time guy, he he created this. Fast. I'm gonna do it. I got more money. I can mass produce yeah. it. And they take somebody I did. Yeah. Just like that. Yeah, I'm telling you, I, 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 I was watching. I was smart. I'm watching YouTube. <laughs> they doing it, just playing around. I'm gonna yeah, yeah. go do it in the game. I'm not I'm gonna do this in the game. I ain't game. playing. I seen them. You know what I'm saying? So like then they just it, they, I caught my little wave. Um the recruiting just started happening fast too. Every weekend, Coach Diane, Coach Diane, shout out to Coach Diane, Showtime Ballers. Um, a female coach, I, I got a, had a female coach. It was crazy because I was with E1T1 at first. Mm-hmm. Um, Carlos, you remember Carlos? Yeah, yeah. Carlos was with them. You know, Carlos was at Tender Rock. He, his dad was cool with Bait them. He's like, man, come play with E1T1. Got us connected to the E1T1. Bait got in touch with Coach Diane then. And he was, he was like, yeah, I'm finna go over here and play with, for her, bro. She finna let me rock, you know what I'm yeah, saying? do my thing. I'm like, I'm finna come up here with you then. So 
and Coach Diane let us rock. Like, so Coach Diane, thank you for like she worked the phones. I never seen somebody will be on the road. She on the phone, like she's selling. Yeah, you call it if you call it, she like, I hope you got an offer. Like, I hope you ain't calling me for no reason. You know, my, yeah. my guys just killed. Yeah. And we ain't, it ain't like we, you know what I'm saying? We just we handle business. So yeah, like yeah. she on the phone, like, <laughs> what we doing? Gotta like, be straightforward. Yeah. Don't like, waste my time, I ain't wasting yours. What you calling me for? You calling, yeah. we be on the phone like in the back, like. Awful, yeah. you know what I'm saying? West Virginia, whatever, you know what I'm saying? So that that happened, we knew okay, bet. Like, nah, it's 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 really up to us. So like where we want to go depending on what the options yeah. that we got. And shit, my dream school is Florida. Yeah. And Billy Donovan came and watched us, bro, and we killed. You tough. Killed. I remember uh I remember I don't know if uh, I can't get Florida in trouble. It's too old. I remember being at Kelly with y'all, man, in Florida, quote unquote, sent Teddy DuPay to work y'all out. You remember that? You remember that? Yeah, I was there. You remember that? I said no, we really watched. I worked out with Teddy Dupay like twice. I, I'm watching Teddy. That I was at Kelly Red. Yeah, Bait came later, or didn't come or something, but I remember he working you out and I was yeah. just like, bro, I'm watching Teddy Dupay, because I knew Teddy Dupay from the Civic Center. Right. As a jit. And I'm like, bro, Teddy Dupay still can't miss. I seen Teddy Dupay, me and RP the twin, oh. right, man, twin in the locker, Shout of course. Twin, man. I remember twin, me and twin. It's right when twin couldn't really hoot no more. Yeah. And we watching, bro. I'm in a maze there, cause bro, white boy really went like, no lie, bar, like sixty for sixty. Clipping. He waiting on C to finish, but we ain't even knowing he there for C. He just over there killing, and oh, he got the whole court to himself over there, just doing like one dribble whole courts. People think I lie when I tell them that. I watched Teddy Dupay inbound the ball to himself, one push dribble, he crossed the half court and getting his shot off. And but then he had you over there trying to do it. I'll yeah. never forget. I remember it, it's that. It's so crazy, bro. I forgot I worked out with Ted Dupay until you said that. I uh, swear to God. Uh, my memory is good, bro. I people don't bro, I forgot I all about that. I forgot I worked out with Teddy Dupay until I you said that. I remember that, bro. I've never been twin looking because, bro, we really was just. I ain't racist. He just told y'all he got white in him. Y'all know what's up. Yeah. It's not racist. I was in the May. I think we all were, bro. We see a white dude killing. Facts. And I'm like, bro, I think that's Teddy Dupay. Yeah. Twin Teddy Dupay. Hey, he like, yeah. hey, Teddy Dupay. Hey, Man, Teddy Dupay it. had this color, had this and that. Yeah. I said, bro, that bitch look like Teddy Dupay. That's him. Twin like, Jit, you might be right. This man ain't missing. He, he like ain't 15 missing. for 15, 30 for 30, 60 for. Yes, bro. When he missed his first shot, you thought the ball was going to bust. He. Boom, he yeah, was hot. Yeah. He couldn't believe he missed the three. Yeah. I'm over there like, bro, I can't make 60 layups in a row Fact. on air. He you know what I'm saying? Like, he I remember it. that day, bro. Then you, you that's some, when you went over there and worked out with him. You got some good memory, bro. I said, man, Florida cheating. They, they done sent Teddy Dupay for C. Yeah, but like <laughs> I was saying, bro, Billy Billy watched me and Bait, bro. And we killed. We showed out, bro. And he did not offer us. He ain't offer, he ain't offer Bait. Yeah, it's big guard. He ain't off of bait. Yeah. Like, so I felt, you know, I was like, whatever. Bait, like, that's probably why bait killed Florida. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's what he did. Billy, if you ever see this, Billy, he ain't off of my boy. That's why he gained you. Got you. Well, um, top 100. I was hearing a lot of stuff. Uh, I'm just being here, Tennessee, like you said, West Virginia, all these schools. Yeah. What made you pick Rutgers? Uh, I know Big Ten. Mm -hmm. What made you pick Rutgers? Man, I really, I really, Ruggers got in on me late. Ruggers got in on me at, uh, I was at, I was in Philadelphia at a Reebok camp, and they got in on me late. I remember that Basically, he swooped in on me, shoes, my, my coat shoes, everybody knows shoes, my, my guy tight, real tight. He just swooped in on me like, um, we want you, come to the biggest market in New York, New Jersey, yeah. playing the Big Ten, Miles Mack is leaving, yeah. we don't have a guard, you know, you can start right away. Freshman, you can play. You can play right away. You're in the Big Ten. You know what Young I'm saying? Kid. You at Rutgers University. Now he's telling me, he's selling me the school side of it. Now my grandma with the school side of it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Your coach is Eddie Jordan. He just played in the league. He coached in the league. You know what I'm yeah. saying? This the plug to the league. So as a young kid, you think, all right, bet. And of course, it's always like the little things they say they're going to do for you. You yeah, know what yeah. I'm saying? Whether they come true or not. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But You don't got to get rocked yeah, in trouble. Yeah, I'm just yeah. saying. Like, you know what? You know you know how it go. Like, everybody tell you what they're going to do for you. Yeah. Whether they do it or not is up to them. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I just felt like that was the best choice for me. They came down, sat in my grandma's uh, uh, office, sat in my grandma's um, living room. You know what yeah. I'm saying? She felt comfortable. I went up there. That's the only school I visited. The only school I visited, bro. Um, yeah. I went out there, had a good time. Um, the summertime, just seeing the campus. 
And it just felt like home. You were so. Yeah, yeah. I, 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 w- I wasn't one of those guys that wanted to take visits because I was so messed up about being at the crib. Bro. Yeah, you wanted to be home. I wanted to be home. But I was always gone for real. You know right, what I'm saying? I was on the road with Miss Diane. Exactly. Lot, exactly. So I was already chilling. I'm missing everything already, yeah. bro. And I'm about to leave. So, like, I really wasn't like, man, yeah. let me go take a visit to. Uh, I'm, yeah. I ain't care. I ain't care. Here. I was trying to be at the crib, bro. So, Rutgers was the only visit I took. I committed there and. I felt like, you know, I did, I did, I left a great legacy at Rutgers. Got you. Let's uh, run through them quick. Your top five high school athletes, Polk County. Now, this is tough because Polk is big. Yeah. Top five athletes. Uh, Chris Rainey. Um, Stuart Butler. Stuart It might be all football guys, bro. Like, I'm a big football fan. Um, got it. Got a lot of guys from here, bro. Tracy McGrady is a yeah, Hall bro, of Famer. I, I, you didn't I, get to see him. Yeah, it's, it's guys yeah, that... I would, I would have got on him about that, but you already know. Come yeah. on now, you ain't even old enough to see T. Yeah, yeah bro, yeah, like, got it got to be people that I seen that I was, like, starstruck to go see. Like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? It, Rainey, um, Stu, um... <sighs> Rainey, Stu... I want to say, uh... Uh, running back, um, when, when do you see Bowman? Um, you gonna leave home for out? Who that? JJ? Bank. I mean, I, I done talk about everybody know everybody know how. Yeah, I, I said it's Bate. top five. I mean, school. yeah, Bait. I mean, for That's sure, for sure. like that. Yeah, Bait. And I had to say, I had to say, I had to say Aaron or JJ. Um, they they just a, they a top for my top five because Aaron I seen Aaron, Aaron play up, man. I seen Aaron like really run that. Both of them there. was like a, a man. They were men amongst boys. Yeah, so I, I witnessed that. Yeah, and yeah, them boys was tough. Yeah. Got gotcha. you. I, I I had to tell you like bait because you. Yeah, it's kind of hard not to say bait, bro. I tell people, Mid is all American. Yeah, Polk County only had a yeah. few. You can't even count on one hand. No, nah, that I feel like that's that that be like that's already you know what I'm saying. But I definitely you gotta tell it. Cause yeah, I gotta. Let we talk. know. Yeah, but yeah. the world don't know easily, bro. Like top five hoopers. Top five hoopers. Top five hoopers it, it it it'll be Bay. It'll be Bay. It'll be uh, Tony Bradley. He's a McDonald's All American as well. Um, Chance Miss Bad. Um, Chance tough. <laughs> Two thousand points. Gave us guys. 30, gave us thirty seven. Um, Chance Miss Bad. Uh, Walker. Devon Walker. Yeah, he was um, uh, last person, last person. The, the one that gave me the most trouble, like in Pope, was the boy from Haines City. Oh, the Spanish kid. Spanish kid. Yeah, he was tough. A lot of people don't know about him. Yeah. Another kid. I, I, he was with with my team, with my with my Dodgers, bro. And uh, bro, he played MLB. For a lot real? of people don't know that's, that. That's that's what that's what bro, I, I, heard I, was... I remember seeing, bro, and I'm like. Everybody got. I was there to see Duran James. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Everybody talking about Duran James. Duran James. Yeah. But I'm leaving the game and I'm in the truck with Coach Kenny. I'm like, Coach Kenny, this Chico. Yeah. Who is the Chico? Like, bro, I'm talking about bounce. He like burner, that. handles. He like that. Bro. And I don't know about because he, he really like him hoot like that. Yeah. I'm like, well, Duran play football. Why nobody talking about it? But him? you know, he, yeah, Duran was dunking. The culture didn't know about him. Yeah, they was man. dunking. He was dunking and stuff. This man getting bucks, bro. That man like, was tough. And then he ended up, I started like looking for him. And I remember somebody, I think my boy Ed from Haines City, who my age, I was like, man, what happened to this? He said, man, I think he played with the Dodgers. And he told me his real name. And I looked it up. And I did find one picture yeah. of him in a Dodger. Full uniform. Yeah, I don't know if it was training camp or what. That's crazy. And I never researched it after yeah, that. I'm yeah, a dog. Yeah. He never made it to us. Like, yeah. big. What's his name? I, it was a while ago I asked yeah. about him. When, like, probably a year after I seen yeah. him kill in the uh, mosaic. Fast. Made me ask about him. So, Fast. yeah. That, it's, it's, it's one kid that was good at Mulberry, too, um, that played on Mike team, Lee. I don't know if you remember Lee. Lee Lee. Man, Lee was jumping out the gym, bro. Lee was Lee's the killer set more beer. Dark skin? Yeah, dark skin. Yeah, yeah, I remember Lee. Dark I remember skin. bro jumping. Yeah, he yeah, I used to, Kelly Rick a couple times. I, I, finish, I used to I used to mess with bro at uh, Kelly about his hooping gear. Like, bro, coming that bitch straight <laughs> like he from Mobile Bear front of the country. I'm like, hey, bro, you gotta get some real <laughs> yeah. hooping gear. Like Yeah, Lee was like that Lee. though. Lee was tough. Definitely remember, bro. Um college. Let's go to college days. What's the biggest difference from high school? We talked about high school. What was the biggest difference or the transition for you from high school? I mean, you had been all around the country, YouTube, mm-hmm. famous at the time. What was the biggest transition for you? Uh, the biggest transition probably was just having to go to, like, 
I mean, I guess just being on your own, like having yeah. really like to live on your own, like yeah. going from staying at at, at, how, at your house where your parents is and stuff to like going to live on your own and being like disciplined with yourself. You got to make making your sure decision. you go to class, yeah, making sure you, you know, whatever, doing your homework. Because some people, people don't realize it, bro. I tell people all the time, basketball a little different, but I think basketball got 12 scholarships on the 15-man roster. Football, bro, you got 85 on the 125 roster. Mm-hmm. And everybody not making it. Yeah. They signed 25, 28 kids, and only four or five graduate with their right. class because whatever happened. Yeah. And all these dudes are studs from their city, and they go back home, and people say, oh, they did this to them, or they did that. Mm. But living that life, um, as a player, now that I'm a coach, I understand the reality. Like, the facts are, no, bro, they just couldn't weather the storm what it takes to transition at 18, 19 years old from being a child under yeah. somebody's guidance to being a young adult mm-hmm. and have to make your own decisions. And to me, bro, that was like the best part. That yeah. was the best part. You, you, you're grown, you feel like a grown yeah, man? Yeah, like, that was the best part. Like, I'm, I'm, I guess, bro, for me, I was already like living like older than I was, right. I guess. You know what I'm saying? Like, I had like a lot of leeway yeah. as, you know, as... As I started growing up, and okay, like as I did get bigger with my name, like yeah. my le- my leash kind of got longer too. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, cause I got I got a B place. I yeah, got I can't like, be here. Yeah, like my leash got longer, so yeah. like I was able to be trusted, like earn yeah. my people trust, and then on top of that, like I knew I had to represent myself. And I think and also just with the re- like recruiting process, what y'all went through. It kind of almost make you grow up fast. Yeah, you got to. Recruiting is a business, bro. Yeah. I think I told the kids last night, we was waiting on the bus to come from one of my games. And I told my kids, I said, I hate to use this analogy, but a recruiter is a pimp. Yeah. A fast. pimp will tell somebody anything to get them to do for mm, them. I say, a recruit will tell you anything. You yeah. test on that five minutes ago, yeah. you said, you know, they tell you all this stuff. They promise you, but whatever, it ain't true they're going to do it. Whatever, I just told the man? kids, because, you know, all my kids, they got all these offers and all this stuff. Fact. And I told them, I said, bro, they're going to tell you anything. Mm-hmm. I'm not telling you how. I don't never tell a kid. I never steer the kid in my years of coaching, go here, go there, go there. No, I don't. Yeah. Because I understand that's the biggest decision of your life, bro. Biggest. What they tell you could be a lie or the truth. Fact. I don't know. Fact. I ain't got time to read them. I'm not your parent. I'm your coach. I'm going to tell you to watch them. That's all I can, yeah. but I'm trying to say, bro, they're pimps. Yeah. You can't li- listen to everything they yeah. say. I can tell you for sure, if you go with your head on straight, you do the right thing, they gonna, you're going to get an education. Facts. You're going to eat good. You're going to see 40,000 women Facts. every day. They're going to, whether you get in or not, if yeah. you got on that stuff, yeah. you good. Yeah. But I can't tell you if they lying to you or mm-hmm. not. That, you you I just said this yourself. yesterday, but we was waiting on the yourself. bus about 40 minutes, and we was just out there chopping it up. So You got to see for yourself. Yeah, definitely. Um, I'm going to ask you this. Uh, who was your favorite teammate, and uh, who, was your, who was the best player at Rutgers while you was there? My favorite teammate at Rutgers, uh, through all my three years, I had to say was – was Deshaun okay. um, because he pl- I played with him two years. It would have been Nigel, but I only played with Nigel for one year. Gotcha. He sat out one year with in in whatever, but Deshaun was there with me for for two years. Playing together, brother. For my really three my, my three years because he came as a transfer and then I came in as a freshman. So I like we we just went through everything together. You yeah, know what I'm saying right through that way. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Um, and you said like who I think was who was the best basketball player there. Uh, the son. He was tough. Yeah. Well, what would you say the difference between playing with him in high school, I mean in college, and playing with Dwayne Bacon in high school? The positions and and kind of like the mentality. Yeah. Like Bacon kind of got like that 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 dog dog. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, Deshaun like- kind of like. He'll like be like, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes like, what it is. really, I don't know. Bate do that too though. Like Bate can get like Bate sometimes like he'll get in his like he don't care mode either. Yeah. But um, I guess just the difference is like the positions and yeah. You no, know, I'm an old head. They call me a try hard, so yeah. Bate make me mad sometimes at the red. Like, see, hey, Bate, see, chill, bro. See. Like you, you the best out. 
Oh, he tried to win. See, I done paid four dollars. Yeah. I ain't trying to get he, off. My boy getting his more like he he'll get in that like, like, hey, I'm just for the jack. Yeah, I'm for the like, jack from the volleyball line. I don't care if we no win or lose. Him. Like yeah. this is just like whatever. So like I, I get, totally get what you said with that. But he can't get in that doggish, doggish, doggish. I'm a killer. Hey, all it take, but the thing you with make it, him mad, all bro. it take is that though. Yeah, yeah. You yeah. just take one fall. Sometimes I make him mad. If he yeah. on my team, bro, I do something to bait just to make him mad. On like purpose. straight up, hey, don't get bait the ball three times. He gonna get on hot purpose. on purpose. <laughs> and he gonna, and he gonna take seven in a row. They gonna be all bucket. You gotta quit. See, that boy gotta quit flip. Oh yeah, definitely. Okay. Um. He suffered a knee injury. The knee looking like it was going the wrong direction. It was a uh, nice change well, because what you notice be. typically Great. is Rutgers is going to uh, slow down, go get into their offense. That time, Corey Sanders uh, had a blow by uh, attempt. He's got 11. Great. Corey Sanders first. Corey Sanders, you see the elevation on his shot. Not many people are going to bother that. And then he can't stop uh, kicking with a dribble. Fires it up and uh, hits. Different than what Michael Hurt looks like. I don't know if uh, I need 7,500 <laughs> calories in a week. Sanders with his first, but Corey Sanders just two second half points until that three for one against Mason. Sanders, the crossover from the foul line. Fadeaway ball! Here's Sanders. Sanders baseline to the rim and another turnover. Sanders to the other end. Sanders with the hammer. The two run for Rutgers to get right back in. Once down 16. Sanders from the elbow. Corey Sanders. Sanders off from the floor. Sanders probing. Sanders finishing. Sanders has to hurry. Sanders attacking right side. Jumper ball! Sanders, the step back of the foul line. Sanders curling, attacking. Sanders using the window. Sanders. Sanders crossover. The step back, the fadeaway. Working. Sanders off balance. Hit the long pass ahead to Sanders. Shoot time. Gonna put on the brakes. Now he's gonna attack. Oh, on the screen. Baseline Sanders high. Archer and he hit the two at the St. John's. He's familiar with this building. Sanders off and above. Hot sauce crossover fire. Crossover. Knocked away. Sanders, can he get it? Sanders fighting off Edward. Sanders! Up and down. What a One effort. Sanders. Sanders. This kid does not back off, guys. In his ticker. Finish the deal. Sanders with 18 offensive rebounds. Sanders! Driving. Pulls up. And hits. Boy, he. Tell us about the Big Ten run, man. Like, a lot of people don't know the true Big Ten run, like Big Ten tournament run. I know. I watched it. I lived it, I feel like. But tell the people about that, man. Bro, that 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 run felt like that was the best stretch of basketball I ever played in my life. It felt like everything that that I, I put up was going in. We started out that the first night with, uh, with Indiana. No, we started the first night with Minnesota. We go beat Minnesota. The thing about it, coach was really on some like pack like for four days. You yeah, know, yeah. we're not coming back. You know, we we the last we like one of the last teams in the Big Ten. I was gonna tell you that y'all like that. Tell the people y'all yeah, like. We like we top four, we fourteen, yeah. fourteen seed. Coach like pack for three days. Like we not coming back. Like yeah. you know what I'm saying. Like we finna go do something. Like. I packed for three days. Like, yeah, Coach I'm, ain't packed for three days. We, I'm packing for three. We going to New York, you know, the Big Apple. Yeah. Like, I'm finna pack for three days. Okay, let's do it. Coach said, I'm bringing three different suits. Like, you know what I'm saying? If you, Coach stressing, you ain't packing for three days, stay here. Like, we checking your bags. Like, if you ain't got three days worth of, stay we here. We're gonna leave you. And we packed for three days. And yeah. for sure, got there and we just piped up from that, from, we started on a run, I think it was like from seven minutes in, in the first quarter. I mean, the first half, and from that, we just went on one of those just crazy First runs. game, Minnesota went first crazy. First game, Minnesota, go to Indiana. We beat Indiana. Crazy. Like, I go crazy dunk on. I got a crazy dunk in the, at the end, Sports Center, all that good stuff. Bon, you got to put that in the video. Yeah, that was that. that I got a move, now he's move move on, my, on the green. I remember, though. I said, you got to put that one in there. Man, and then play Purdue. And we and I, bro, I remember it to this day. I, I I got a one and one to tie the game mm -hmm. with like twenty seconds left. I blow the first one. I blow the first one. We lose we lose the Purdue in the semifinal. 
But that run, bro, was just it was in amazing. itself just to beat Minnesota. Yeah. Indiana coming in as one of the yeah. last. It hasn't or, been done. Like, yeah, like it's just like nobody had yeah. Rutgers. So if you were better and you were in Vegas at the time, you was going crazy with Rutgers. Oh man, you went crazy. I had seventy four points in three days. Like a big, like was like one of the big. I didn't even know the line. Yeah, but I probably would say they probably had y'all as like a <laughs> plus sixteen or something crazy. Sixteen hundred, like. <laughs> Come every on, bro. Game, yeah. Every game. Like every game. That was a bit ride, man. And it was, it was, it was, it was crazy to see because not, I mean, obviously we watching it here at home, not because we're Rutgers fans, but because C was there. And we all knew about it, bro. But it was like, bro, it's like you put the whole school on your back. Yeah. Like I ain't saying teammates, them boys did nah, their thing, but for sure. like we looking like, bro, C carrying these. And boys. then and, and then it was, it, it, it felt better. Cause my, my my grandma was there, you know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah. Like so, like in one of the videos, like I remember like pointing up to her, like you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Like it's I remember pointing, like I remember when I point who I'm pointing to, you know what I'm saying? So it's like yeah. when I think about that stuff, I think about the little stuff like that. Like my grandma was there to see that, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. See me go crazy. People don't understand, man. In the man, see kind of the same. We yeah. raised by our grandparents, right, so right. his grandma came up in the food industry. My grandparents, mm-hmm. uh, shout out to them. Red lost his babies, you know, retired from there. That's we came up kind of the same, mm-hmm. so my grandma couldn't come. Yeah. Never. College, high school, she came to my senior night. Shout out to high school five times, I think. Right, I'm man. a defensive player. Yeah. Punt back, kick back. Got to show up. Hey, man, throw me the ball. My grandma here. Got to show up. I'm a, I ain't never seen her in the stands, but it's like, that's big for us. So yeah. I get what you're saying, yeah. bro. I'll never forget. Late region senior night. I, I remember Coach Smith them stressing, hey, what we got to do to get you to do that every night? Yeah. Get my grandma off work. Huh? You know what I'm saying? Like, Red Lost the order release her, bro. You know what I'm saying? Get her here, and that's what I'm going to do for her. That's my baby. So I get right. what you're saying. That's major to see her. So right. you went, I know. Okay, so now I know personally, y'all know, y'all know at the same time as me, bro. Like, that's why my boy went crazy, crazy, yeah, crazy. bro. Because I be begging C, like, hey, C, bro, nobody can stay in front of you. I, I'm a, I'm coming straight out of college, <laughs> getting cut from a pro team. My feet good. My legs good. I can move. I feel like I can stay and guard any receiver in the world. I done guarded AB. I done guarded Gronkowski on the daily with Gronk. I done guarded Mike Thomas daily. Drawing, I'm like, why can't I stay in front of this young kid, bro? So I, that's what started making me like, all right, bacon see different. Like my leg's good, bro. Yeah. I'm coming off a of straight power five. I know but, I bro, can move. Don't let him, don't let this man, cause I hate I hated playing against this man, bro. Cause I know he gonna guard me. Yeah. I know he gonna guard me. And it's it's hard to go around this man. He'll sit here and be like, I probably can go around him now. But when we first started, like it, it was a t- it was tough. It was, and I, I hate playing against this man. I hate like, don't even play with him. Hey, bud. I see, hate it playing I against him. I 30, bro. man. I, ain't nobody can stay in front of you. Uh, so, yeah, that's man. that's crazy. So, Grandma, yeah, I got it, man. Building. What's your grandma, Miss Kathy, right? Miss Kathy, yeah. Man, shout out Miss Kathy. That's shout the reason C went crazy. I might yeah. fly Miss Kathy overseas to check you out, bro. She my boy might go for 40. She don't, bro. The thing, I be trying to bring her. She don't want to. like to. Yo, my grandma, like. She ain't flying that far. She like, that's too much water. Man, my grandma, my wife them didn't just leave that. I tell you, bro, I be trying to make my grandma come home every like other week, bro. Yeah. Like just, you know, she getting older, but they hate she the plane. She, yeah. she, uh, she cool she, where she at. But um what you what you feel about the transfer port of NIL? Um, especially like me and you. I played Power Five. Mm-hmm. I played at Arizona. I love my university. I was a but couple years late. We we kind of like one of them things. You turn up at Rutgers like that you happens. did, and you say your dream school. UF. Look yeah. at Walt Clay. I'm gonna yeah. use a Polk County kid. Yeah. Walt had to go kind of where you was at, mm-hmm. up there I own a good basketball school, yeah. but now he had his dream school. Dream he school. was able to kind of home to Florida. Right. Son, you would have probably did right. if it was here. How you feel about the port in NIL? Yeah, bro, it's so it's so crazy. It's so crazy when I think about it. Cause like I just said, like I was a couple years late, maybe two years late, because Gio really got started that up when he he was a senior. And yeah, that was yeah. my 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 year out to my second year out. And yeah, I was a couple years late, man. It's like, bro, like I wouldn't have to do a lot of stuff that I be doing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, Cause you that have much, if- yeah, that nil money. So like, what, bro? Yeah. You was famous on YouTube, bro. Like, be real, like. Everybody knew see all you know YouTube. Like, bro, I remember we got a transfer at Lake, uh, Lakeland. That's where I coach at. But with the fire, you remember we got JoJo Bond, bro. JoJo seen C. We got the Lakeland gym. 
Jojo, the point, the guard. This man from Maryland. The guard. Shout he, out. He never knew you was from Maryland uh, or your family. Okay. Bro from Maryland. He had just came to Florida. Yeah. Where he at now? He he play, he in uh he in he, um Davenport uh area. He he go to uh Ponciano. Okay, okay. Jit was spooked to yeah. see you, and I'm like, bro, you don't my first reaction, you don't know, see? Yeah. Cause I'm I'm thinking Lakeland Fire. Right. I'm not even realizing. Yeah, Jit, you know. not from Lakeland. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. He was spooked. I'm right. Like, oh my boy not from here, right. but uh, that's what I really like. I, I I'm watching the videos myself. I'm following you. Yeah. I see what's going on, but that's where it really made me start realizing, like, bro, these boys really famous. Yeah, like Jit from a whole crazy. other state. He spooked the CC. It'd be crazy. And yeah. I, I just know C, so it was kind of yeah. like to me, like, hey, JoJo, we tried to play, bro. <laughs> right. Shut up. But right. he a kid, bro. Like, this yeah. man famous on YouTube. And I, like, so that's what made me realize social media it's, and it's a bit this fat. online stuff, YouTube and stuff. And is then major. that whole that transfer thing, bro, like, I didn't want to transfer because I didn't want to sit out of you. Now you can transfer and play. That's what I'm telling you. Like, I tell people all the time, I seen my teammates, bro. Who are great, bro. Like, I can name guys who are great football players. Just got in the doghouses with our coaches. Mm -hmm. Got in the doghouse with our coaches. Or did one or two things that just wasn't right, bro. And it's like, they're done. Yeah. You know, they're going to let you stay. That's all it take. But you never going to play. That's all it take. Bro, now, them same dudes could have went right up the road. Killed. And killed. And what scared parents... They would tell their kids to sit it out because yeah. they didn't want them to sit. Because right. our culture know that one year of sitting, you set you back. You set you back, bro. You end up in some stressed. trouble, man. Yeah, I was like, stressed. I can't. On, it's no way I can go over here and not play basketball for a year. Come and on, just bro. Be it ain't just a year. That's what people understand. Yeah. I tell people, bro. That's twenty four months. Yeah. Because you missed that year that you left. Right. And, and the next season, yeah. the, All that year you, that you got to sit out, then you play. Then, then they go to say, oh, well, he sat out for two years. We don't know if his body is gonna. So you you still kind of behind, bro. I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it, bro. I'm glad they changed it, bro. I, a lot, I know a lot of people don't like it, and it don't show loyalty, but I tell people all the time, hell, look at Hardball. You yeah. win the Natty and you leave. Fast. Look at look at Alabama. Fast. You just retire. Look at Washington. You I go to the Natty and you go to Bama. Thing. I think it's a good thing, bro. Because, look at my like, school, Fish, yeah. bro. You go up 10 wins. You lost three games at Arizona yeah, this year out of there. to Washington, who went to the Natty by one touchdown. You was beating them. They went on the drive to beat you. USC. USC, triple overtime. Bro, you could have been in the Natty at Arizona. You lost three games by under a touchdown. You took Washington job, or one of our conference rivals. Like, come on, bro. But that's why I say I don't get mad at the right. 18-year-old. These 50-year-olds doing right. it. They been doing it to us. Right. They going for the best job. Yeah, Let these yeah, kids yeah. go to what so fits them, bro. they win, then they... They, they win, out yeah. to the next best job. Let yeah. the kids do the same. I'm not against them. At first, I was. I said, oh, they don't have loyalty. I'm already knowing how you were. And doing. I'm like, man, let me pipe down with this old school mentality, bro. Mm -hmm. This is good for the kids. Yeah. So I started thinking about my brothers, bro. Yeah. I went to war with these boys going to tour days with us. They going to Fort Huachuca for 14 days with me on the Army not base. touching the field. And they know they never getting in, bro. Imagine that. You not know you're you done. I'm big and coming. They can Sorry. play for real. They can play, bro. I got guys right now. I show you, Mitt Donald's All Americans, bro. And I mean Army All Americans. I'm mm -hmm. talking to you because basketball, yeah, but yeah. Army All Americans. Brandon Tatum, six three, highest forty on the team, yeah. fastest forty, highest vertical. Now we can get that. He was in the dog. That shit unfortunate. That's why I like that. That's why. Two twenty like something, bro. Six three at safety. I'm a safety. Mm -hmm. I'm I'm really spooked when I see Jim. Right. Like, ooh, and then <laughs> All American, <laughs> but. They went messing with him. Y'all brought me house. in from JC, scratching. Y'all ain't got no safety. Yeah. Man, is a in the dollhouse. Adam Hall. Arm, look him up now. Adam Hall, six four. Like uh, that. Lamichael James made a throw up middle of the field. That's when I knew throw up. Throw up mean concussion. Yeah. The trainer said, "Oh, he's out. He they can't bring him back. He's concussed." Adam Hall did it to him. Six four, two twenty five. Army All American, five star at Zona with me. I got in the dog hall. They ain't like, bro, no more. I hate how a situation can change your whole, yes, bro, your whole career. But he ain't do nothing crazy like today's world. What them boys did yeah. wouldn't even matter now. Right. But yeah, I, that's I why like I ask everybody of, that question how y'all feel about it because y'all done been through it. I'm different. I changed my whole thing about it, bro. Uh, let's touch this last thing and then we'll go to your top five college players. Um, What's up with rap? With your rap career? I'm a big Corey Sanders fan. Mm -hmm. uh, I like your music. Um, I tell a lot of people, I just, I can hear the truth in it. Mm -hmm. And I know it's probably because I 
know you. Yeah. I don't know how people on the outside feel. I don't know, yeah. you know, but I know I like your music. What's up with the rap and what make you rap as as a professional athlete, what would make you want to put that much time into rap? Yeah. Um I mean, the rap thing, y'all know I still I'm still dropping. I still got stuff, some stuff in the vault um ready to drop. Just been trying to like get better with it though. Like, you know no. what I'm saying? Just like you said, like you can, you can, you know what I'm saying, you hear the real in it. Like I just wanted, like I wanted to touch like more people, you know what I'm saying? Like, so I'm trying to like figure like different ways, you know what I'm saying, different flows, different, you know. Yeah. I just want to try. I've been rapping for a long time, you know what I'm saying? So like, um, I just want to try new things, you know what I'm saying? But I got some stuff dropping, y'all be on the lookout for that for sure. Gotcha. Um, new content and stuff. But uh I don't know. I guess, bro, the rapping for me is another way to, like, release. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's another way to release. Stress like, release, yeah. And I, and I grew up, my stepfather was a producer. Okay. So he produced me. It was Christian rap, though. Like, so I grew up, like, listening to Christian rap. Even yeah. though I, I don't rap Christian, like, yeah. I grew up listening to Christian rap. But, but that's how somebody who in music. I seen the recording process. I seen, you know, the mixing process. I never knew that, see? Yeah, so, like, Mind that's it. what I fell in love with at first. You know what I'm saying? Gotcha. So then... I'm making little raps already when I was younger, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, um, and then for not, like, it was just something I just kept on with, and like, I feel like I'm pretty good at it. So, like, even now, like, I, I just, it's just something I know. I like him myself, you know what I'm saying? Like, I like being able to, like, this what I was going through, this situation yeah. happened, and I got it off. Like, nah, I can go back to that situation, you know what I'm saying, or whatever. I can express how I felt about it. It's just like another way for me. Now, life. rap, is it something you want to be known for? Is it just, like you said, a relief? It's whatever. Yeah, it's it whatever. Blow, it yeah. Blow. I'd have made money off my music, you I know can, what I'm saying? I can only imagine. Yeah. If you got a following on YouTube yeah. and all the social media, yeah. All you take now is, but I feel like I be. I, I feel like I got. I got what the world want to hear. Like I feel like, I like personally, I'm, I'm a bit like people. Like my homeboys hate to get in the car with me because I'm old school, bro. Yeah. I'm only gonna listen to Tupac. Yeah. I'm only gonna listen to Jay Z. I give K Dot or J Cole a spin here right. and there because they good. But bro, I don't listen to all the other music. Right. People don't. They don't like getting the car yeah. because I don't want to hear that. I don't believe half of them. Yeah. Like, people who know me, man, I'm, I'm on the podcast. This is a truthful podcast. Like, bro, I'm from the hood. Yeah, for real, for real. Like, all my family went federal. For real, for so real. So I, I don't buy a lot of stories. Mm -hmm. So when I hear people rapping about certain yeah. stuff, or if I watch Power, yeah. Power not real to me. Yeah, I don't Y'all kill 200 people? I'm not watching it. Why y'all not in jail? I'm that's just watching. how I am. I'm, not, I'm, I'm, I'm the same way, though. So like, I don't buy it. So when yeah. I, I that's why I say with your music, I can hear yeah. the real because I know chorus. So I'm like, okay, yeah. this is true stuff. Yeah. This is what's going and on. And I also feel like, with, for me, like, most of my music, like, people can hear around the world, but, like, I'm speaking on stuff that's happening in my life that people, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. You don't know if it's true or not, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, so. And what started making me love Jay-Z, like, just coming up, bro, I started hearing people who I know, like, one thing about it, we ain't heard in 30 years is people downplaying Jay-Z's story about his, his life he before rap. Haters would have been came out. It's yeah. a social media world, especially now. They would have been exposed. Well, this dude was a nerd. Here go a video, VCR yeah. tape like I showed you yeah. in my highlight. We stomped him out and such and such. Or he was a, he went, it ain't came out. Fact. That's how you know it's fact. fact. You know what I'm saying? That's why, I, like, that's my guy. And that's, yeah. I stick to what I like because of that. Like, I just, yeah. I don't want to hear all that. My wife, she love everything. So yeah. I have to hear it from them. Yeah. But nah. Nah, I be feeling like, I be feeling like, bro, like, I be feeling like, I honestly be feeling like I'm really like one song away or like one like video or, the, or, or just do the right thing yeah, like one bro. yeah I, I really, that's how I honestly be feeling like gotcha. but so I would never stop making music and I put in I put this in the song bro one time I went to my Cavs workout they really asked me like would I rather make music or play basketball like they asked me that in the, in the NBA you know you know setting like they're yeah. like let me ask you like would you? And that's when I knew I was like, dang, like these people really like think they that. Yeah, it. like you yeah. know what I'm saying. Like I've been playing basketball my whole life. Like, yeah, like this is what I do. Like yeah. it kind of was like a slap in the face to me, honestly. Yeah, because it's like, bro, I'm, I'm giving y'all my all in, in, in basketball. So why y'all worried about what I do with music? And then now, like everybody does it, so it's fine. Yeah, it's like the norm now. Yeah, it's fine. Everybody making everybody. KD does. making music. I feel like Iverson. Yeah, uh, they was at you. I feel like Iverson, bro. <laughs> But you know, like, I tell people all the time, if you build a brand here, and y'all don't realize as kids, bro, I ain't gonna say you don't, you probably understand. Corey Sanders is a brand. Mm -hmm. Like, 
I don't know if my tag's up there, but my name is a brand. Yeah. Not this podcast. My name. Yeah. You go to the state, I'm a brand. Right. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I have to pay taxes on my name yeah. because I'm a brand. Corey Sanders is bigger than, it's big. Yeah. It's a brand. Yeah. So with Iverson, he was a brand. That's why he's still getting money to mm -hmm. this day from his name. When you have a brand, when your name become a brand, it's like you have to watch because, like I said about Jay-Z, the haters going to come out. Mm -hmm. So it's like they poke at you. Any little thing that you do, they're going to poke as Corey Sanders did it. But me and Sean Black can do the same thing yeah. and nobody noticed, bro. Yeah. So it's like I, I always said that I always wanted to sit down and tell you that, like, bro, you can't do what regular people do. You can't do what your homeboys do and bro, because you're a brand. That's, and that's what I say. I realized that late and Bate realized that earlier. Yeah. You know what I'm he saying? He knew he couldn't He do. knew that. Yeah. And with me, like, I ain't really have, like, Bate daddy was like my, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It was like my daddy. Like, like, Bate I was, was around some different stuff. Yeah. So he you was able to weed it out. Right. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like, I had, like, a, my god daddy and shit around. Yeah. Like, I, I learned really, that at a young age because, like I said, man, you know, my whole family was in the streets. You know, from my mom to yeah. my dad, aunts, uncles, grandparents. Mm -hmm. Besides, on my mom's side, my grandparents, who I say real lots, so shout out to them. They went in on to nothing. My grandma and my granddad, they were straight for it. But I was around so much in my household, right in my neighborhood, to where it was like I was able to say, okay, that's fake. That's this, that's that. Yeah. So when I got to school and stuff, and I was a young adult, but my wife was pregnant. So I knew I had a purpose. Mm -hmm. So like I got it. I'm up here for a reason. Thanks. So I ain't doing nothing y'all doing because of this. I ain't doing nothing y'all doing because of that. Mm -hmm. And I kind of was able to do that. But every kid ain't in that predicament. Yeah. So they kind of like you just growing right. up. You being a kid, bro. And it ain't nothing wrong with that. But America poke at kids who they feel like is here. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like being a child of a pastor, bro. Like, they shouldn't be under scrutiny right. because people are like, oh, that's a pastor daughter. Look what she or he doing. Yeah, look what she got on. Bro, your kid's doing it. Right. Well, but they didn't look past their kids to worry about this person's yeah. kids. Yeah. Like, come on. I'm, I'm, I'm looking at this, bro. Like, as a kid, I learned stuff like that early. Nobody had to tell me, like, they don't supposed to do nothing different. They're yeah. kids. Yeah. Like, no, nah, I knew that. Like, bro, why y'all? They human. Fast. We, we doing it worse Fast. than them. Y'all talking about what they got on. And I feel like now it's more acceptable now because I feel like now they're like, oh, yeah, these are still kids. But I feel like back in the day, bro, they really like... They poking. Were, yeah, bro. Yeah. Like, I was just under so much scrutiny, bro. Like... You it, was a brand. You yeah, didn't know it. Right. If you had somebody who was able to... Maybe they did try. I'll take that back because I know a lot of stuff I did. Stupid yeah. people actually told me before I did it not to do it. Like, bro, I did this to ruin my life or this or that. And I still did it. But you under so much scrutiny as a... Person in the line, like because they want. I I I, I say it all the time. They want to see you fail. Yeah. Like, bro. It's unfortunately, our culture want to see people fail, man. And it's like naturally they just don't even realize that's what it is. But when you go to the down talk, like I'm not gonna. If I hear something about Corey, I'll call you and talk to you before I tell somebody else. Yeah. This what you're doing. Yeah. If I hear something about Nell, I'll call Bond and say. No, this is what people saying about your your brand. Fast. You need to change it. Mm -hmm. And he'll tell you, like, that's just who I am. Before I go and say, yeah, man, Bun, I paid Bun to do this, and he ain't even, no, I'm not finna keep the negativity on yeah, going. going. You know already. what I'm saying? Like, yeah. bro, it's all, you saying it, so I'm gonna stop it. Right. Let's try to, you know what I'm saying? And a lot of people not like that. No, nah, right. they, they, they gonna let it go on. All right, but before we go to this last one, see, man, you gotta do this. I know you done did it for the other ones. Talk. Five college players ever. Top five college basketball college players. You can do any sport. Uh, uh I can do any sport. Yeah. Reggie Bush. Reggie. Um. Oh man, that's crazy. Top five college. Reggie Bush. Um. Jabari Parker. Cold to me. Jabari was so cold. Yeah, it was tough, that dude. Oh, I like that one. Jabari was so tough. Man, listen. Uh, you wanted to do like we was talking about with Dominique Jones. Like, he just one of them dudes, like, can get whatever you want. He was crazy. Yeah, you know, he can get whatever. Um, Man, bro, that shit be so hard, bro. Andrew Wiggins. 
Well, this was crazy. Austin Rivers was always tough. Austin Rivers was one of my favorite players growing up ever. Austin Rivers was tough. And he killed that dude. Um, uh, last one. I mean, I, I, I got to throw my boy in there, man. Bake. I, I got to throw my boy in there. I like Bake. Uh, Y'all era was different. Um, Reggie was kind of like right at the – I was – I think I was a freshman. 05, they won. We was in Cali. Yeah, I was a freshman in college. So with Reggie, like, bro, Reggie changed the world. Bro. Bro, people don't realize, like, you two hit the next year. Bro, Reggie was the first YouTube sensation without even needing it. Because people was uploading his stuff after you two hit. So I remember saying... I remember arguing, and this this real fast. Anybody can check me who watched this, bro, because we're going to have advertisements from here to Cali. You mm -hmm. know, I want my whole, everybody to see it. We used to argue over Reggie highlights. You got to think how how much. Now, listen to the gap. I'm a freshman in college. Reggie in college. They, these boys playing Texas in the Natty, and they showing Reggie highlights. I can't uh, remember what school he had. Green and white on with the five at, in San Diego in yeah, high school. killing I'm, we arguing with these Cali guys, my teammates, over right. Rainey. We was on Florida Sunshine Network. Sunshine Preps. Preps. Sunshine Preps. Green screen with a Florida. That's it. We ain't had nothing but that VCR yeah. I just showed you, yeah. bro. Or if you had a little cheese, you yeah. could upload that. I ain't know nothing. I never tell you. I can't even turn on the PlayStation. Yeah. Like, they got to come set my TVs up to this day, 2024. So, imagine 05. <laughs> you wouldn't know none of that. I ain't know no sunshine. They put my stuff on sunshine yeah. prep. Fuck yeah. it. But once YouTube and I seen Reg, I'm like, man, we got somebody at the crib like this. Y'all, this ain't the best ever. I got to write now the same on the dime and get back to the first right year. Now. Five. <laughs> right now. We arguing over Rainy. Bruh, next year, YouTube drop. So now I got dudes at Cali arguing for a rainy. Yeah. They, they vouching for rainy yeah. like, yeah. Him. He, we love Reggie, him. but it's him. Man. Bro, I promise y'all, nobody believe this. And right now to this day, my guy Reggie Dunn, shout out to Reggie Dunn. He at Utah. He went to Utah. Small dude. I'm talking about smaller than Bond. Played with the Cowboys. Played with me and JC. Went to Utah. We both in the uh, pack. Reggie coached Zip. He the one told me Zip going to be ready, man. And, uh. Bro, they flew Rainy from here to Cali to raise Reggie Dunn for the fastest high schooler. Who fastest was? football high schooler. Rainy. Beat that shit. Come on, man. <laughs> Come on, man. Oh, like, yeah. Come on. Re Reggie, my guy to this day, bro. Yeah. They really bring this man. They bring Rainy for that race, but they bring it with Sam. Was like this, uh, they was doing a camp. But Rainy didn't need that camp. Yeah. Rainy was one of the most recruited guys. He didn't yeah. need it. They wanted it, and I was there, so I'm. Y'all know me, man. I got to put that in the book. I can't tell y'all. But in Cali, I'm already out. I know what they wanted. Yeah. I'm in college, but I, I'm in, I'm out. Yeah. So I know why they bring it, Rainy. He for didn't real, need this real. camp. Yeah. I forgot the name. But it was like B2G or something like that. Yeah. Something. No, that's, that's, that's Breads. They said the name, man. That's how we met Max. Remember Max moved down with Tabo? That's how we met Max. Uh, they was all at that camp, bro. Rainy them done them. They was just, they was in high school. Man, they burnt Rainy. I mean, we went out with Rainy, took Rainy out and stuff. I'm like, bro, they don't care about this camp, bro. Yeah. They want you to raise Reggie Dunn. That's what they did it for. Yes, bro. And he went west, that stuff. Come on, man. Other side of the world, bro. You got to think. We from here. This the other side of the country, yeah. bro. Who they say Rainy lost to in the parking lot? Uh, the Divine. Divine. High school, but that's no a lot. Divine. No, that's a lot. That's a lot? Yeah, he did. He beat him. That's what people always, Everybody say Nobel Devon. Let me tell you. Rainy. People, remember what we just talked about five minutes ago with haters? Yeah. People was really against Rainy. Mm -hmm. Because he 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 man, Rainy from my neighborhood, bro. I'm Rainy, from seven, Rainy, Rainy from the deuce. You'll see it on the intro. That's that's always been my little guy. People didn't like Rainy because of where Rainy came from. Yeah. He wasn't a popular. He made now he's Rainy. Mm -hmm. But, bro, he's just like he is now. Goofy, laugh, laugh, laugh. He ain't into going to all these places. So he wasn't a popular dude at the time. Yeah. But Rainy beat this dude. Rainy slipped. Because I'll never forget, Noel was, Divine wasn't here for that. He was here for band. Yeah. This one, the movies was the thing to do. It wasn't no nothing but the movies. Right. That bit would be three or 400 kids. That's the movies. Every night. Bro, Divine came up here, bro. 
back of the movies between Walmart and the movie. My wife worked at the movies, man. Rainy slipped and beat that guy. I witnessed this, bro. I'm betting on this, man. In high school, I'm in, I'm in a different life. I ain't yeah. worried about sports, bro. Yeah. That's what people don't realize. Yeah. I'm betting on this. Yeah. Adults out there on rainy downfall. Yeah. We ain't have text like now, bro, and all that. We had snake, no kill phones with snake. Yeah. Imagine how can the whole city hear that Rainy finna race this kid in that amount of time for all those people to be there. Cause they, they like Rainy. They wanted to see this kid from out of town beat the whole town. I always guy. heard that Rainy lost. No, bro. bro Rainy slipped and beat that dude. I'm there. I bet it on it. I won money on it. Man, when I hear people say I don't even argue with them because it's not worth it. Yeah. But I won money on this race. That's crazy. Bro, bro. really? Slip. Shout out to Rain, man. <laughs> man, come on, Rainy slip. Like you hear about somebody who fought from somewhere else. Yeah, yeah. Right. Rainy down. Right. Rainy killing here. And they didn't like that. Fast. I wasn't no hater like I just said. When you went, I don't know. When you went to Kaylee, I wanted you to go there. <laughs> I'm I've always been like that. I'm not a hater, bro. Yeah. I ain't I wasn't mad at Rainy. Me and Rainy from the same hood. Yeah, yeah. Like, I loved it. So it's like, no, nah, I'm going with my dog. Yeah. Like, this my little homie. Yeah. Rainy beat that nice. guy. He slipped. Nice. I'll never forget, bro. I was spooked. I'm like, oh, for the... Lose. He didn't came and got that stuff. Rainy came to him, bro. Like, what you talking about? Ugh, talk Rainy to... really like Yes, that. bro. Came and got him. No, bro. Don't never let... If they caught... I'll, I'll, I'll debate for you. I was there. Literally lived that. I was there. Every time that movie's open on the weekend, I was there. My wife was at the front selling tickets. So I was right on that stoop making sure nigga wouldn't mess yeah. with her. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, I was there, bro. Like, really right there, bro. No, bro. Right in there. Not losing that guy, man. That's crazy, dog. Let's get to the last one, man, so we can get you on, man. Um, let's discuss your pro career, NBA, things of that nature, mm -hmm. man. Um, when did you get your first shot at uh, pro ball? How old were you? Where was it? Things like that. Um, came out. I came out 2018. I came out 2018. I went into the draft. I went undrafted. I started in the G League with with real with real Valley, real Grande Valley, whatever. However you say it, Vipers. That's what team that is. That's the G League of Houston Rockets. For the Rockets. So I went over there. I was working out in in Houston with them. They brought me out there and shit. Everything was cool. Like I get over there to the G League. Like we rocking out. Yeah. Uh, it come around the media day, bro. I, my jersey in there hanging up and stuff. Yeah. I put my jersey on. I go do like all the media day stuff. After media day, bro, these boys bring me in the office. Like, yeah, bro, like, like same day, same day. I just did all my media day stuff. Yeah. Pictures, interviews. Back to business. They use it for the. They say, bro, like, we gonna have to make room for our uh, two way players. Y'all ain't in the daytime. You ain't noticed yesterday. Whole time, my grandma done bought. T we played the next day. My yeah. grandma done bought tickets to the game to fly out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And all that. Cause we in Texas. She yeah. So I got. I'm calling her to her. She like, well, we were just finna go to the airport to come out there. Like, yeah. you know what I'm saying, bro? That's like, crazy. Get cut from there. I think I was. Uh, I think I was around. But I was at that time. 21, 22. Probably 21. Cause 20, you left early as yeah, a junior, right? Yeah. Yeah, I got eight, yeah, I was twenty one. You was a young freshman I was, in yeah, college. I was twenty one when I when when that, well, around this time. After that, after I got cut, I came back home. And you know, bro, when you come back home and you just was everybody like, yeah, what, what's, what's going you, on? Yeah, what Looking you going at home? Crazy. But I'm so, but I always been one, bro, to like, I'm just real, bro. Like I got cut. You know what I'm saying? Like it is what it is. I ain't gonna lie, like when I'm when I got cut, the first thing I'm thinking about, bro, is I gotta go back home, bro. Yeah. Like I gotta go back to the city. I ain't Niggas be hating. That. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, bro, that's the first thing. I'm like, bro, I gotta go back home. And what do I tell the people at the crib? But then I gotta think to myself, like, bro, like I ain't got nothing to prove to nobody at the crib for real, bro. Like mm -hmm. it happened, bro. I got cut, bro. Like they felt I wasn't good, whatever. I got cut. Now it's back to the drawing board. So I'm back in the gym, went overseas to Georgia that year, and I'm on my my sixth year. Yeah. Now, when you was with the Rockets, was CP3 there? Yeah, I got a video of like me shooting. I'm shooting and CP like walking behind me, like good shot. Like yeah. me and CP got into it. Nah. Me and CP got into it, bro. I'm from the crib, bro. Yeah. We from the crib. We end up hooping. Uh, I'm guarding CP for game three on three. He go to the cup. He 
He said live I, practice. It's just, live practice. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He say I foul him. Now he walked to the free throw line for game. I'm like, bro, why did you walk to the? This what y'all do? I'm uh-huh. like, this is the competition. This ain't even. Like, I'm forgetting this Chris Paul. Like, yeah, I'm yeah, like, this yeah. what y'all do? Like I'm y'all competitive. Yeah. I'm like, this what y'all do? Y'all shoot free throws for game? Like who does? Th- like yeah. he like in, in the game. If I get fouled, like I hope he see this because this is yeah. a real story. He like. If I get fouled in the game, what I do? I go to the line, don't I? Like, nah, I'm like, nah, bro, like we in that. practice. Like, bro, like he check me up. Yeah, give me a bucket. Yeah, game me. Yeah, but like I respect that yeah. over a free throw. Over a free throw, yeah, and it yeah. was like crazy because all the other rookies, they like, bro, we thought like they was gonna see you home, bro. Like nobody don't talk to Chris Paul like that. I'm like, bro, I ain't even talk to him crazy. I'm nah, just, I'm just basketball talk. Like, we don't. I'm gonna be honest with you. If, if, if CP 3s and I respect CP three. If he see this. He going to respect it now just like he respected it then. Got to. Guess why he checked it up? He didn't have to check you up, bro. Right. He's CP3. He don't got to I that. love you, but guess yeah. what? To CP3, you was a nobody. Right, right bro. So nobody. he checked you for up real, because he respected what you were saying. I, I swear it had to be that. Because, yeah. like, you know what I'm saying? A real person, bro, going to respect yeah, what you're saying. Like, you're right. Free I throw, bet. Like, come yeah. on, bro. Like, we in practice, CP. Like, yeah. this ain't no game. He nah. checked me up, gave me a bucket. Like, he real. Game, nigga. Yeah, like, I, oh, you talking? Let me show you, Ricky. I right, got you. Right. <laughs> Here you right, go. Check bro, it up. So I know I can score on you. Yes, bro. So it is what it is. Yes, nah, bro. bro. He, he, he going to respect that. Yeah, That's CP. why he respected it then. Because he could have easily said, hey, man, matter of fact, get yeah. off the court, yeah, bro. Like, he and he whatever like, he say, the coach go. got to go with. He gave me a bucket and told me that. Bro, this the NBA. And yeah. I, I think we were just arguing about this the other day, bro. Look what Rosier did. This man told us two weeks ago he wanted to go to the Heat. 13 days later, he with the Heat. The NBA players run it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? If CP3 would have told him, players run the coaches, bro. Yeah, bro. They just told him, Milwaukee, bro, that man, 30 something, 10 or 13 or something. Got rid of him. Because Play, as a player, they run it. So CP3 said, hey, Corey, get out the court and you yeah. don't. And the coach don't make you get off, Fact. the coach might get, bro. Fact. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, one time we, we playing my boy Rod Gray guarding Harden, bro. He, 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 Harden, uh, Harden calling bullshit fouls, bro. Yeah. Uh, John, Luke, practice. John Lucas look at me and say, what, what you want me to do? Yeah. He won MVP last year. Like, this, what, what, can what I you do? want me to do? Yeah, bitch, he you said, gonna get me foul. fired. Yeah, it's a foul, nigga. Like, yeah. that's when I knew I was like, okay. It is. That's, yeah, especially yeah. NBA, bro. This ain't like, yeah. And I, I think that's like the difference between the NBA, MLB, and NFL is like drastically different. Yeah. Players really run the NBA. Nah, it's player friendly. And I mean, they understand like to get people to viewers. Like you gotta, you gotta rock with the players. Let them do. Bro, it. look at the rules. Harden changed the rules, bro. Like Durant changed rules. Curry changed rules. It's really a real foul because of KD. It's really no travels called because of Harden. Harden take five steps, bro. Every time. And they don't call it because guess what? Hey, referee. It's entertainment. Hold your whistle. This man is the best scorer in the NBA at the time. This the move he doing to get yeah, a bucket. A 60 points. He's the reason they big got twenty some thousand people, bro. Shut up. Don't blow your whistle. And it's that's simple. what the NBA became, bro. Simple. Yeah. Um. Oh man, I'm gonna say this. Uh, for me. It's tough, bro, but I hate interviewing people who I rock with and all y'all. Yeah, my first 12 guests is people I love. Um, <laughs> undrafted free agent, bro, out of Rutgers. I seen the Big Ten run. I seen the high school career. I seen the college career. Kid, let's just go back to this. Tell the people what you average at Rutgers. What was your, like, what, would you, what you average? No, what I average at, I average 16 to 4 at Rutgers. 16 and 4. Mm-hmm. Now, if you're not a sports person, bro, don't even look at this. But I'm a sports person. I understand that Carmelo Anthony, one of the best, and it's not on my paperwork. I'm just a sports dude. One of the best scores the NBA ever had. It's hard to average a dub in college. College game and NBA game is totally different. It's stupid. Refs let you play great defense still at that level. It's three seconds. Yeah, like, it's a lot of little stuff that's, like, People don't average like yeah. crazy numbers in college, bro. You don't see no 26, 27 a game. Mm-hmm. So... I mean, you had a rinky dean school. I'm talking power five. Yeah, power five. Guys going to the league averaging 12 points. 10. 10 points. Bro, I just seen a big go from Texas. Yeah. I ain't gonna, nah, I, ain't gonna, I don't even want to. Cause I want to be negative, bro. I don't like being negative. Nah, it just it just. It I seen a lottery like, fit, bro. Yeah. I'm like, yeah. what? Yeah. Like, 10 points. That's his stats? But they looking at measurements and this and that. So, like, for me, it seemed at the time like a slap in the face to you. Mm-hmm. A person bit 10. Kill, 
I just played, bro, like I said, probably plus 1,600, Ruckers, knocked them off, knocked them off. I have a 16, bro, I'm a kid, I'm, I'm young, 19, 20 years old, to be undrafted, and then the Rockets let me go. Mm. And nobody else, well, I, I, I take it back, the Magic gave you a stint, but yeah. I can't play in the NBA. Yeah. I, I know NBA guys. I'm saying that, bro, because obviously they can see I went to Arizona. Mm -hmm. I know NBA guys. Mm -hmm. I know number two pick. I party with Brad every, every weekend. I'm with Brad and Mikhail. Like, I know I, I, I was around a number two pick. Right. Not all, all the other draft picks I was around, but I'm around a number two pick in mm -hmm. NBA. Number two. And I was around Corey. And I hoop with these guys, too. Like, same way I hoop when I came home. That's what I did for for cardio. I yeah. hate to just sit and run like I did the day right before you came. I just came for running. That's yeah. why. But I don't like that. Mm -hmm. I don't like just running no three miles, bro. That sucks. But I rather hoop. Yeah. But it ain't no hooping. Kelly clothes, Damn. you know. So Bullshit. I did this, bro. In college, I'll leave from working out and I'll go to uh, in the McKell. They hooping and I hoop in McKell. I go to the student rec and I hoop with all the all the players at Zona. Yeah. You talking about these guys? All these guys play. Yeah. Kyle Fall, Derrick Williams. Right now, to this day, they still overseas yeah. if they're not in the NBA. So I seen these dudes, bro, and I seen C. So I feel like skill wise, C is an NBA guy. Like, so it felt like a slap in the face. Do you feel like it was a slap in the face to of you? Of course. Bro? I just never got my fair shot, bro. If I would have got my fair shot and things didn't work out, it was cool. But like I just never got my fair shot. Like yeah. even when I went and played with the magic, you know what I'm saying? I had good numbers. I had better numbers than they better. Bro, me they and my wife and my bro. son, like we was at the yeah. Tuesday game. Yeah. Two dollar Tuesday. Yeah. Magic, you know I'm like I'm like, bro, I'm eating hella hot dogs for yeah. two dollars, popcorn, everything two dollars. And I'm like, bro, C was just the best person. Yeah, Gay, like I'm looking at it. I'm like, C was the best player out there, bro. Yeah, like, in the last minutes, my plus minus was the best. I think I led the team in blocks, bro. Like I, I think I was at the game you had your most points with the match. Yeah, yeah. And now what I'm saying, bro, I just never got my fair shot, bro. And I that's never that's the thing that. that that that's the mo the biggest slap in the face is me not getting my fair shot when other guys like that. If they whatever they try to say I did is guys has done worse than me. Yeah, and yeah, they yeah. and they let it slide. I remember so. when you was coming out, bro. We was in Davenport. Shout out. The same people were just at the door right now. That's my best friends. And hit my um my wife and our best friends. Um we always been like this. Um We was at we was at his house and um just finna come out. I remember Kenny, Coach Kenny, my roommate. Uh, had to go outside. He was outside for like two hours, so it kind of spooked me. I'm like, Coach, all right? Mm -hmm. But he was on the phone with the Magic. Yeah. This for your G League time, yeah. this one you finna come out. Yeah. I don't know if he ever told you this. Yeah, he did. That's the crazy part. Like, bro, he was out there for a long time, so me, bro, I've always been protecting my homeboys. We in a foreign area, we in Davenport. Coach ain't from over there. So I'm like, man, what's up with Coach? So I'm spooked. Yeah. He kept saying, hold on. He kept giving me the hold on. Well, I'm thinking something wrong with my boy. Yeah. So I finally like pushed up on it, like, nah, what's up? Like yeah. you straight? Yeah. And he told me like, that's the magic for Corey. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So after like an hour and something, like now I'm just there, I'm interested yeah. now. But bro, like all the stuff he answering, it wasn't basketball related. Yeah. It's a long combo now. I don't yeah. know what Kenny told you. Yeah. But I live this. I'm like, bro, why were they asking everything? And that's I went through it myself, man. Like. I don't, I don't tell people this, bro, because my own team, my wife, she'll tell you, like the Rams was supposed to draft me. They told me they was going to draft me mm -hmm. third to fifth round. This is my team. I didn't ever tell them that, but after my interviews and stuff, Coles, Rams, all these teams. But when the Rams called saying third to fifth round, it's draft day. We talked to your third grade teacher, Miss Townsend, Valley View Elementary. See, no lie. I'm 20 years, and I ain't smoking in 20 years, but... Bro, I got a good memory. So when they say this, I'm like, who the fuck is this lady? <laughs> I'll be honest. Yes. I don't even remember. I don't remember my third grade teacher. Yeah, I don't remember this lady. You feel me? So I didn't like it. But they, they told me, you know, like, we didn't talk to these people. So I understand the detail on it, how far they go back. Mm -hmm. For them to call Kenny, bro. Kenny was your middle school, your middle travel school. team coach. They ain't called Diane. Seventh and eighth grade. They ain't called McKeel. They ain't called right. none of these seven right. high school. They called and Kenny. And when he told me that, bro, I was spooked, bro. I witnessed this. Like, he ain't lying. We was at, we, was my same spooked. people who just knocked on the door, talking about, are they waiting for me? This is what me and my wife, like, us two, us two couples, we, we do everything together, bro. Yeah. 
We was at their house. Kenny was with me. I was so spooked, bro. Like, they talked Kenny for, like, two hours nonstop, bro. It was intense. Like, you would have thought Kenny was going to get drafted. Right, right. But, bro, they was at you, like, and just trying to, like, see if he lying about you. And Kenny kept it cool, but it's like, why was the stigma, like, so bad about a little bit of rap? Or, like, do you feel like it was, what, what, what you feel like? Would you rap or what? Because I, I know think, they were bringing up rap to him and stuff. Yeah, bro. that's really what it was, bro. It was because, like, my videos, like, I had, like, niggas rolling up in the video, smoking in the video. I wasn't, but, like, they was doing it. And yeah. the stuff I was rapping about was, like, really stuff that was going on. So I don't know if they felt like that was, like, oh, like, we get this kid a million dollars. He finna go crazy. But at that time, I was young, bro. Like, you didn't even at that time, you I was... think about that. Yeah, at that time, I was in high school. So, like, I done got to college and stuff. Like, I'm still rapping and stuff, but I ain't worrying. But, like, I ain't trying to do what I was doing then, bro. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, not my music video. I ain't... Nobody ain't smoking in there. Like, yeah, nobody, yeah. you know what I'm saying? We chilling or whatever. Yeah. I'm in school. I'm hooping. I'm killing. Like, that's what I'm saying. When the Cavs asked me that, it was kind of like, bro, like, why are y'all asking me this? Yeah, that's bro? old. Why are y'all asking me this in the NBA? Like, I'm here working out with y'all right now. Why is y'all asking me about music, bro? Yeah, like, I'm trying to play. So, that whole situation, bro, I just feel like, yeah, it was a slap in the face. I just never got my fair share, bro. I never got my fair share, and I feel like it was just for the, for the, the music part. Yeah. Uh, quick question. Do you feel like if you started all over, bro, you, you was an internet sensation. Mm -hmm. Like, I, I, I watched it. Do you feel like you would change anything about it? Rap or anything with the internet? Yeah, man, I'd change it, bro. Like, I would be crazy to sit here and be like, nah, bro, I wouldn't change this shit for nothing. Like, I think somebody said I don't think it. you'd be crazy. I would, bro, because, like, I understand how that situation affected me now. I'm different, bro, like, because I understand that. I got to a point, bro, I'm a lot older than you, so you still playing, so I get it. And I know you understand, like, you left a lot of money out there. Yeah, I ain't saying it as in, like, I, I don't, my I don't change situation. nothing about me, bro. Like, yeah, bro, I ain't change, like, I ain't saying, like, I love, like, everything I done been through to went through because I still know how to fight that, back. That's going to make you laugh. Yeah, that yeah. adversity, like, made me, like, the man I am today. Especially when you have kids, bro. It's yeah. like, okay, I got kids, so Basically, I can like, teach my kids. Yeah, I can raise, like, I can I can do that through mine or whatever or try yeah. to because shit, you know, like, I can try to because everybody make their own decisions. Every like, kid make their own yeah, decisions. I can I can try as much as I want. Like, I can try. But you but at least, like, as a parent, bro, what make you feel good as a parent, and I know you got two kids just like me. Mm -hmm. I got a son. I got a daughter. And you got a son. You got a daughter. Right. What make you feel good as a parent, bro, and I tell people all the time, my mama and daddy didn't raise me. I was around my pops, but my pops was in and out. You know what I'm saying? The streets, prison, prison, prison. But I knew my dad was a good dude. Mm hmm all this man kids, bro, we was all straight when he was home. Right. So we all had his love for him. You feel me? But what I tell people, I say, at, when you're a parent, it's about what you're able to teach your kid and give your kids. When you go to sleep, bro, at night, you're going to be able to say, hey, Corey, I did my part as a dad. Facts. And that's what make you feel good. Yeah. If they take it or not, mm -hmm. we don't know. Yeah. Every human has their own brain, bro. That's right. how God made us. If you believe, you feel me? I'm a, I'm a believer, no, so I, hate, sure. I hope I ain't offending nobody. But sure. that's how he made us, bro. So it's like, you know you did your part. Yeah. And that's what let you sleep at night. Yeah. With what you've been through, you're going to be able to pass that to your kids. Mm -hmm. So they can't make the same mistake. Now, yeah. do they take heed to it or do they apply it to their life? Maybe not. Yeah. But you know as a person, like, that shit more valuable than money to me, I'm bro. Just, I'm, like, in, in, the tense of, like in, in the sense of, like, I wish I knew then what I knew now kind of like you know what I'm saying yeah. just cause like maybe like just cause yeah situations would be different you know what I'm saying but I just like I embrace everything I've been through and I'm still rocking like everything you know what I'm saying like you still young yeah like my life you know what I'm saying like I ain't complaining I ain't got no complaints bro like everything straight for the most part you know what I'm saying yeah. so it's like my, I'm cool but it's like damn I wish I knew certain things back then yeah, I, yeah, yeah. that I knew now they definitely used a lot against y'all, man. And uh, it's crazy because I see a couple of years later, like, all that stuff is cool now. Yeah, like, it's perfectly fine. People being like, Dane Lilla made tracks. KD made tracks. One like, guy got drafted to his music on draft night. That's when I knew. I was like, oh, man. It's like a different era. Like, it's, that stuff is cool it's now. It's whatever, bro. That's crazy. It's whatever. Man, what, what did you spend your first pro check? Uh, well, you went to Rockets, so. Yeah. 
I know how the pros work. They probably gave you something for even yeah. coming up there. That's just how they do business. My first pro check. My first pro check. I I most likely I most likely went and bought something for my kids. That's what's up. Yeah. Like even even in college when I was first getting my like my list my st- what up yeah bro I was I'm in the mall I'm That's getting me was, right man. but I'm getting my kid like I'm I had my son so I yeah. like my checks and stipends coming yeah. we it, ain't getting the money y'all getting right like, it felt good to go do that you know what I'm saying I'm finna get my I went and got my baby you know what I'm yeah. saying I'm sending the pictures home I got my baby so like, I really was spurging on my kids first CP3 bro mm-hmm. he ain't even done playing but Hall of Famer <laughs> legend. The man got his own shoes. He is CP3. You know what I'm saying? He need to get a rain though. But uh, mm-hmm. what you learned from CP3? Um, what I learned from CP3, bro, is that no matter where you are in your career, is like the work is still, it's still like the, the most important part. I get to the gym, bro. Mind you, I got like I'm, I'm, I'm just not getting here. Like I'm new. I get to the gym. We got weights in the morning. Yeah. <laughs> CP is there before me. I got to get there at 7.30. Yeah, he already CP are, yeah. sweating already. He, CP so are, he in a full workout. CP already there, bro. Hey, you don't got to be there. I don't got to be there at 7.30. I get there, CP in there already working out. This is an all-star, bro. Uh, 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 whatever time, he, all-star. He big time. You know what I'm saying? So, like, I'm like, wow. Like, this is crazy. Yeah. Like, no matter how good you is, like, the, the work is, is the work. Yeah. And so that, from that, bro, it just let me know, like, okay, like, that grind is the is the most important thing. Yeah. He like, and he basically said, like, I'm getting my work done early, you know what I'm saying? Now I can do whatever I want the rest of the day. I can relax. Oh, you put me on on mids. Yeah, you gotta hit the gram. I put the gram wire in the first one. Okay, bet. Yeah. Yeah, so um that that's basically most of what he taught me. And then like just talking to him, like look, the little things, bro, like just one time, one time they called me, him and James had hit me, like I, I wasn't um Cause when I went out, I wasn't on the team. I was working out, waiting to go to the G League. Okay. And um, so they had went to a different gym the the uh, the next day to practice, and I don't think I was supposed to go. Mm-hmm. But them niggas had called me like, man, like, bro, you should have came anyway, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, and it was crazy. Like James them calling for me. You know why? I'm gonna tell you what I think. And you never told me this story. Yeah, we talked. Mm-hmm. CP3 is what on the side of what guard. So. James Harden, bro. People not realizing. I, I was in, I was in Arizona with James Harden. Yeah. So I can get used to it. I can have a whole day, two hours. James Harden. I like James Harden. No, the man worth three hundred million. He's probably only gonna remember me. Yeah. But I've been part of it, bro. I've been in bro apartment in Arizona State. Yeah. I'm in Arizona at the time. Yeah. James Harden was that dude. Yeah. Bro, they looking at it like you an undersized guard like us, mm-hmm. cause they. Like the NBA, bro, 6'5", 6'4". Yeah. CP3 especially, he your size. Right. He see, like, bro, you got the talent. Right. He probably like, man, you need to. And that to me, bro. That and gave... what the coach is saying. Yeah. You show up. Yeah. Make them kick you out. And that gave me like that. Like, damn, like, CP, Jane, Carlin, like, they asking where I'm at? Like, mm-hmm. okay, bet I must be doing Not only that, right. guess what? Some people be trash. Yeah. You giving them work. Yeah. You get, if you saying I followed you. For a free throw, bro, you yeah. trying to settle at the free throw line? Yeah. I'm I'm work, I'm giving I'm helping you. Mm-hmm. Like they need people, bro. I just seen no lie. And we talking about James Harden. James Harden and somebody else just they pay people in the offseason to defend them. Yeah. I just seen that this yeah, I seen Peyton Pritchard say he do that with his homie, like come in there. And, he got three people. He yeah. paying the white boy. Yeah, I seen bro, him, and he, he ain't even a star. He like, but my homies like, I'm telling like, bro, like y'all niggas coming here. Y'all job is the guard, guard me. me. Yes, in the all season. Imagine <laughs> that being your career. I just and this dude not even a, a star. Fast. Come on, bro. Fast. So like, that's why they call you. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna ask you this, like. James Harden, obviously the world know, bro, party. That's who he is. Mm-hmm. Like Gronkowski, my teammate. They mm-hmm. party us, bro. You ever seen CP3 partying, partying, or was he a pro's pro, what they consider a pro's pro? Yeah, I never I never seen. We went to, I seen, C, Drake had his concert in Houston. That, that ain't partying. Nah. Like, bro, that's a, that's a mega. Yeah, and we was. Michael in, Jackson come, yeah, everybody going. We was in the booth Drake up. come, yeah, everybody going. We was going. in the booth up top, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, like. Yeah. Now you can't consider that partying. Yeah, other than that, nah, I never seen. I'm an old head, I, never I seen do that. Party, bro. If I, Drake come, then I'm going. Beyonce come, I'm yeah, going. Like, I, I ain't yeah, never that seen, ain't I never seen none of them party, bro. I never, I really didn't, like. 
I mean, mind you, I wasn't like asking to go hang with them all the time, but like they had little events as they were doing yeah. and stuff. You know what I'm saying? But, but they ain't out like nah, that. Nah, they I ain't never. Really a lot of people that. say that, man. Like when you see them guys who are at the top of their game, Ooh. they the pros, pros, bro. Like you never really gonna see them hanging, hanging. And then when they do put a video of them out, yeah. that's somebody's birthday. You that's hear the story about James, but with, with Chris, like you know, yeah. you know, Chris, like really. A that's pro, why I said pro, pros, like, pro. That's why I asked that yeah. question. That's one of my actual questions. Like we yeah. have a combo, but that's one of my. Actual, I said that because, bro, I'm a sports guy. Yeah, bro, I don't hear nothing about this dude. Mm -hmm. Like you know, I've been around the world. Mm -hmm. I've been around the country. You know, you just I ain't seen CP3 yeah. nowhere, bro. You get around these guys and you just watching, bro. So I'm yeah. just watching and just like everything he do just look like what a, what something a pro does. Like what you're supposed to do. Yeah, it just look like this is what oh that's what. Why a pro you think does. he could be at this age, bro? All these injuries, all this stuff that normally. If you have that one little outside noise, yeah. it's like, all right, CP3, you old, bro, going on. We don't right. want you no more. Nah, bro, right. he's coach is still dealing with right. him or GMs because we know at the minimum, even if CP3 is hurt, he's going to be good in the locker room. Yeah. He's going to kind of practice, show up, rehab. He's going to make the other guys, the young guys, do the right thing. Mm -hmm. I, I can only imagine. I ain't never been to the NBA, bro. I'm just imagine as a sports person. I'm the outside looking in. Out of all them, but that's why I asked that. you that, man. Yeah. Um, right now, um, still in your pro career. What you you on your six or seven? That's my six. Six year. Yeah. Um, what's your next stop? Uh, you gonna stay Poland or what's your next stop? I'm waiting to see where I'm gonna go now. Um, I'll find out really like at the end of this month um, and see where I go to. Um, but I mean, I'm really, I'm open anywhere. Where oh, are you at, see? 26. 26. I'm 26. Where I was just we? trying to do the, because yeah. I know you came out early, so yeah. I was going to do the math myself, but 26 years old. So right now, for me, I watch basketball. This would be considered your prime. Yeah, I feel like, I feel you like. You feel like you got enough in you, or you feel like you, you ready to shut it down? Nah, I feel like, bro, the only thing about it, and I know if you're watching this and you who overseas, you know what I'm talking about. The only thing about it is being over the. Yeah, it's just being over there for a long you don't for, tell me. for eight months, bro. Bro, they Canada. I walked off. Yeah, hey man, I, I could go to Canada though. Nah, I could go to Canada. Though. I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm, I think now if me and my wife was still together, I could go to Canada, then bro. in 2010, if, if I was still with my wife, girl was, or not, I can go to Canada. Now nah, I have my kid. You got your two kids, yeah. but I'm a young dude. So like at the time, I'm a young father. I'm like, man, my dad was going wait, crazy. Wait, hold on. You tell me you wait, wait, wait. So you trying to say you couldn't you couldn't move without your wife then? You, we went together. Yeah, but I'm okay, so but you stressing. Oh yeah, when I was with Argonauts. Yeah. So like I walked away from the Argonauts. Yeah. So at the time, Coach Chris, he'll head coach still in Canada uh, Canada. Coach Chris was with the Argonauts. I made the team. They sent me the contract, it was like fifty eight K. Yeah. They said, Hey, look. You can't just play DB. You got to play both. Yeah. Uh, do something else. You and when you say, let me ask you a question. When you say you made fifty eight k, do you think that's bad money for a year playing football? No. Like right now, I'm, check me out. If I didn't have a child, yeah, I would have played ten years in Canada. Yeah, I would have been cool. Yeah, I had a kid. Yeah, and what what a lot of people don't realize, and I had a lot of my boys from Lakeland go to JC with me. I was in college. I seen my homeboys flunking out, bro, doing crazy. What made me so focused, bro, is my child. Mm. I didn't want to be who my daddy was to us. Now, my pops, R.P. the pops, he wasn't a bad person, bro. He was a good dude. But at the time, I'm like, man, my pops was always in prison. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. I didn't get to see my pops. I never looked in the sand to see my daddy. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, me either. I never wanted that for my jits. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So I, I said, you know what? I ain't finna do that, bro. That's another country. Now, if me and, like I said, me and my wife was together, then, shoot, my wife is a rider, bro. Mm -hmm. like, you got to think, I was with my wife in but high school. That's what I'm saying. Why you feel like you couldn't do that without your, without your wife? Because at the time, I was living for her. Yeah. My wife ain't a stupid yeah. female. Yeah. You know, she ain't finna build me yeah. with that. Yeah. Like, she loved me. Right. We back together now. Right. But I had to change drastically. Right. I couldn't be Thudder no more. Right. I had to be Coach Ant. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you feel me? So, she went on that, bro. Like, you can go. I'm going to take care of your son. You can see us. She ain't never tried to hold him back. Right. But just imagine, bro, I'm in a whole other country. Yeah. That's seven, eight months. Yeah. Out of 12, I ain't going to see my jet. Right. Then I'm only coming here for a little bit. Then I got all right. season. And that's, 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 that's the, the tough part. That be my thing, bro. That be like, my thing, bro. That be my thing. Like, shit. Like, like I'm... 
right now I'm working a little job, you know what I'm saying? I'm chilling. I was just telling Bun, I was like, bro, like, I'm working a little job. I ain't never worked a job before, but I'm yeah. working a little job and I get to go home to my people though, bro. Yeah. Like, it's like, over there, I, I go, go to the, the gym, gym, I'm going, going home to myself, myself, bro. You know, we get to see kids. I don't get to see FaceTime, but that's it. And yeah. then I'm six hours, seven we hours ahead of you. Man, yeah, that's, yeah. That's yeah, what y'all like. Yes, sir, man. Well, I definitely appreciate you, bro. Anything you want to shout out to the youth or tell the youth uh, to get them encouragement, man, it's up to you. I'll leave this up. Um, I mean, bro, biggest thing for me is always to be like, chase your dreams. Of course, I mean, I guess that's cliche, but like, that's the biggest thing, bro. I'm still chasing dreams right now. I'm sure you're still chasing dreams that you got, Bond. You're still chasing dreams that you got. Um, Y'all just stay focused on what's important, bro. Like, don't let, you know, the, the negative stuff and the stuff that really don't matter, um, you know, slow you down for what you're trying to do. Like, know your end goal. Like, Rico Hines, say shout out to Rico Hines. Like, know your, know your big picture at the end of the day, like, what you're trying to do. And, you know, just live your truth. You know what I'm saying? Like, bro, doing I'm doing Everybody, you know what I'm saying? Just live your truth, you know what I'm saying? And, and, and let your grind speak for itself. And everything else, I think, will handle will handle itself in the end, how I feel. Definitely. But man, I gotta say a salute to you, bro. Know that. I appreciate you again for coming, man. Know that. Know that. Know that. You, bro. It's always love. Yeah, yeah man. I'm Keep doing what you're doing. Y'all see this shit, man. Y'all see what's going on. It's the real deal. I'm trying to tell you. That's the real deal. They say pressure bust pipes and they create diamonds. Niggas dying every day because they can't take Cause they life so basic Local ass niggas go crazy okay. Everybody around know that ain't your baby But you stay down on the hope and the maybe Meanwhile homegirl acting real shady Especially when your homeboys come around lately On top of that you juggling your money on the daily Bill 600 paycheck 480 What the fuck is saving? Got a ball out but don't waste it I ain't rich yet but I can taste it On me snapping Haters better face it Especially when the pressure in the L Who laced it? Mess must have put the hash all in the equation I'm high up in the sky damn near out of space Situation is critical